I have to look at the controller to remember which button is the A button because I've been playing too much Switch lately. I literally look at my Switch controller all the time. Like when I'm playing because I can't remember because I don't use controllers. I just don't. You and Clayton use controllers all the damn time. I do not use controllers. I use mouse and keyboard for everything that I fucking possibly can. Also, Sergio says, uh, well, thank you very much for subscribing with your Prime. 27 months. Hell yeah. Um, says, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Meg's playing Lethal Company. It's up to me to keep y'all on track. Sergio, uh, when I read that earlier, I said, uh, oh, we fucked. Let's just cancel stream. We can't do it. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> All right, Sergio, here you go. <laughs> It's you to keep us a good, good. Your hands are full. So, um, actually, uh, remember, uh. we are trying to upgrade the gardens because we finished all of the things to upgrade the gardens. Like, we have all the items. So, we were in the garden or trying to find said garden. Uh, and we couldn't figure it out. And Meg said she'd look it up. So, we'll just skip that and do that another time. So, I guess go to the war table and start some shit. You are fast traveling out to go. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. I didn't know where I was or how to navigate from that area. So, I mean, I knew I was in the garden. I just don't know where that is. Put the lid on my cookie jar and I regret my decisions in life. Open up. So you took the cookies from the cookie jar. Not only did I take all of them, I licked all of them so you can't have them back. You really think that's going to stop me? Yes. <coughs> How about now? My scouts no, not going to stop me. We're talking oh. about cookies here. I'll pop it in the microwave. I'll pop it in the microwave for a few seconds. Make it nice and warm. Kill the COVID. Yeah. The moisture from the saliva will like seep into the cookie and make it like real moist and warm. Mm. It's gonna be, del gonna be delish. So, I don't know if I talked about it on stream, but we had a delivery, me and Clay, at our box that we have. And, I, and it was nothing we were expecting. And it was a jar, like a, a metal container of Mrs. Fields cookies. Ooh, Mrs. Fields are really good. And we were like, where the fuck did this come from? There was no note with it, nothing. It didn't like have a you know delivery from other than Mrs. Fields to Shelby, and I'm like, is this something like work? The order was sent. Cookies this morning. So I asked my coworkers. I was like, did anyone else get Mrs. Fields cookies delivered? <laughs> I'm like, no. I'm like maybe I'm on my old job. Maybe I'm still on their Christmas mailing list or something like that. And I had no idea. And I was talking to my grandmother the other day, and she's like, did you get my present? And I said. Uh, what did you send? She goes, you should have gotten a present. I was like, did, did you send me Mrs. Fields cookies? And she goes, yeah. And I'm like, I had no fucking clue. We were just eating these cookies and we had no <laughs> idea where the fuck they came from. And we didn't care. <laughs> came from the direct source. We were just like, cool, but thanks. That's awesome. I wasn't complaining. I was just like, I felt like I needed to tell someone thank you. And then, you know, because I never told my grandmother thank you. She's like, well, did you get my present? I didn't fucking know. So just as I feel you, Shelby, I ate all of my Kroger brand Chips Ahoy yesterday, I and I missed them. So I like Chewy. Uh, no, Chips Ahoy Chewy. Cookies. Me too. That's it. I don't like the Chips Ahoy regular or anything like that. I think they're too dry and just fall apart. I like Chewy. This Mrs. Fields, that's what they're like. Right. They're like the Chips Ahoy Chewies. I, I like Chips Ahoy Chewy also. They're the ship. I was reading. Oh, I like regular chips of because I dip them in milk. Yeah, but like, there's a good chance we don't have milk in this house. Not because I don't buy it. I buy a gallon of milk every week. It just Jeez. gets drank really quick. I buy, I buy a pint of milk, and half of it goes bad before I can use it all. Well, I tend to drink milk in the mornings if I have a waffle for breakfast, or 
Clayton will drink it if we have something spicy, which is me, so I usually make a lot of spicy shit nowadays. And he just drinks milk, just just as like in his daily day. I, I literally only use it as a cooking ingredient. I don't drink it by itself. I don't like put syrup in it or anything. Like Clayton I pour a little bit. Here. Uh, I've actually considered one of our extra lives, extra, or like oh. one of our charity streams, trying to do the milk challenge. We've talked about it a lot. Because I just on my own drink so much milk. Just throw it back and I could I could probably drink maybe a quarter gallon just standing at the at the fridge with no with no effort. Mm hmm And it, which makes me think if I actually put my mind to it, I might actually be able to uh succeed at the milk challenge. I think you could. I really do. We've might talked about this extensively. Might not enjoy it, but I could probably do it. I don't think it would really bother you. As long as you haven't <laughs> had anything prior and you don't have anything post. Yeah. If you just drink milk but nothing to churn yeah. or curd the milk in your yeah. stomach, you'll be fine. I'd, I'd have to have something to change the flavor. Just like, all right, now I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle some chocolate flavor in here. I'm going to sprinkle some raspberry or uh, strawberry in here. I'm going to have you know, a hot dog every once in a while just so I can taste something else. Um, Clayton, whenever we get to the end of the gallon, he just ends up shooting chocolate syrup in it and it shakes it up and then, I, then I'll go into the fridge and I'll, oh, okay, well, we must be at the end of the milk because the milk carton will be just milk and a little bit, and not a little bit. <laughs> Let's be real, not a little bit. Chocolate syrup in there. Oh, okay. So Sergio is giving us information. So he says, from what I remember, I think y'all need to go back to that place where the flood happened and get the dam working again. Yes, is that's that where, where I you're am going. Right now. All right, cool. And I think we already have the dam working because we drained the lake. Oh yeah, so we're we doing need... the dead people. So now we need to go out to like uh, some kind of cave and find our way into where the rift is. Quinn says you have so many companions in this game. I feel like we had more in the last one, but I really did not have not kept count at all. Oh, Sergio, <laughs> coming in from Meg. You drained the lake and need to explore it. Did you see that? No, I was reading chat. What? Oh, there's, there's green shit green, on the ground. Green lines. There must be some uh, Do a strand, ping, ping, strand ping. wielding guardians here. No, no pinging. Is this telling us which way to go? I don't know. I think it might just be like a textural issue. Like, uh, there's like a, a crease in the texture. I'm guessing. I don't know. So I want to go back because I was waiting to read this. So Sergio says he uses his milk for overnight oats, cereal, and for drinking. Yep, we do for cereal too. Which I, I just got vanilla honey Cheerios. I use like a little bit in um, scrambled eggs. Like I use like a teaspoon of it. I don't mm -hmm. have scrambled eggs every day, so I'll buy a, I'll buy just a pint of milk, Look at all the dead. and it'll still Why like go bad before I can finish can. it. These spirits must have come through the rift. Let's close it before more of them decide to try on corpses. Why? Why would we go back there? Something claim. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going towards, and then I looked away from the mini map. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Um. There's a red man right there. So. Sergio, you brought up your overnight oats. I am attempting again. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye, Red Man. I'm gonna try. There's a plaque. This was oh, the mayor's cool. old home. Yeah, a that's what I got, right, Clay? Oatmeal. Yeah. I love oatmeal. I I feel like I tried it before, but I went like solid, like uh healthy ass full on healthy oats and I was like I'm not a fan so I went for flavored and we're gonna start there and see if I can get to it for like the texture and, and things like that so I don't know what is required to make that oatmeal though I don't know if it's milk or if it's just water but I'm curious would it make it creamier and yummier if I used milk You've got you've got my my ears churning here, Sergio, about this. You you there. And I and I, I had the question of what would happen if you blended uh, powdered milk 
into whole milk. Could you get like 150% or 200% milk by blending powdered milk into milk instead of water? I told him I wasn't having this discussion because it was in me too much and I would never be able to back up my thoughts anyways. Sergi says for regular non overnight oatmeal oats I usually just use the instant one in pouches and I refuse to use water for those. So that's what I got is instant in pouch thing. So you say you don't use water in those you use milk in those? And Sergio was encouraging you Clay. Right. You Don't must do it out, out of a, out of the jug. Do not destroy my brand new jug, of my gallon of milk. And then when you can't do it, we can do milk circle. God. Uh, what's my options? What are those like? Oh, sorry. Do it again. I was trying to read the top. Just all regular stuff. Is there yeah. something like in this? I, how should I know? What the fuck? I've only just met you. What does that matter? I'm right from my eyeball it mostly. Okay. What, I am. what a strange world this is, where time blinds you. What's so I don't like how liquidy the, the pouch, the line the pouch me. gives you has the oatmeal come out. Do so you like it thicker? Huh. I don't know how you Why haven't you gone back to the Fade? I will not be denied. I refuse to leave until something obeys my orders. I guess we'll do it, but I don't know. Then I feel compelled to help you. I pledge myself to your service. Excellent. I have only one command. Oh, shut up, Tara. A creature made of rage had the gall to chase me across the lake. Destroy it in my name and be rewarded. I've heard worse orders. Thanks from out there. Thanks for your input, Blackwall. Idiot. So uh, Meg's saying not fully here, but there is a lot to explore and do in this map. So sounds like we're going to spend a lot of our nights in this area. Like it, a good happy medium just under, just like just under liquidy. All right. So I should probably start low. Got to be and then here. add in as more needed. Try start with thicker, and then I can always loosen it up more. How many C's are we talking? <sighs> We're going to start with two. No, three, and then we'll go down a little bit. Oh, Lord. Uh, I would add a pinch of cinnamon. I also add a pinch of cinnamon after it comes out of the microwave. Yes. This one's maple sh sh sugar? Cinnamon? Maple something? something? I should leave. Oof, to them. The fuck? What? All that noise. I don't know what that is, but good luck on fighting that noise. Maple brown sugar, thank you. I mean, there is just a tear in existence between here and the fade, so. Right over there. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. I do have maple syrup too, so I could probably put that on top. And we're gonna go full on, as my favorite quote of the re of recently is, balls to the wall with unhealthy, and then we'll pull this back if I can handle it. Wait, you need to get a, uh, oh, there's a thingy up there. Yeah, it's one of those star things. This is, I really like overnight oats because you can, they're hard to fuck up and you can just load it with whatever you want. Berries, nuts, mini marshmallows, etc, etc. I mean, ideally that would be in the long run. If, if I can, if I can get myself to like this, I would do with that because then I could just eat that at work. Oh, it wasn't one of those star things. I don't know what these are. This is like the third one of these I've turned on. No. I don't know what they do or what they're for, but I no. sure I am doing something. Figure it out eventually, I guess. It's 
That's a really pretty flower. Nope. Hey, fellas. Dude, he just needs like a bitch slap and he's dead. They were saving him. You couldn't him for finish me. it out, Dorian? Seriously? They were saving him for me. Don't save. It's fine. Just kill. Get it done. What is this? Uh, they... What's those things that can bad barnacles? Uh oh. They right. look like big ass barnacles. I thought it was like a demon thing. I'm like, what kind of demon thing is this? It's just barnacles. Oh, there's bodies. Found all the corpses. There's a chest right there to loot. The wolf in the background. Yeah. Anyone else doing the Spotify audiobooks? I'm really looking for some suggestions. Or just good books. I don't think anyone else here likes the same kind of books that I like, though. This is I do Audible right now. I am uh, not here for fame for another... I'm not going to do Audible. Um, I don't think I will use it enough. But if it's on Spotify, I'm already paying for it. So. Well, Sergio, that's the thing. Kind of into smuts. <laughs> We've discussed... Uh, that was a while ago. I got gotcha. you. Okay. <laughs> I, I just like I hear Clayton rolling his eyes in the other room. <laughs> I have friends in horny places. I haven't found one that's even like you good, Logan. Yeah, I'm looking for something. Oh, okay. I haven't found one that's actually made me blush, but I haven't gone to the depths of the dirties. I've been like doing the light stuff, like the Outlanders. <laughs> That's a great name. May I there, suggest the podcast Clutch My Pearls? There is a series of smut novels that are not serious, and they're not. I don't. I, unless there actually are, I don't know. But they they seem like like a bit. Like the whole thing is a bit. Um, and I can't remember the name of the author of it, but it's just like. It, the, it's along the lines of like the centaur who slammed my asshole. Or yes, Chuck Tingle, Chuck Tingle. Uh, I know that they had an audio book, one of them, where Justin McElroy did the VO for it. I'm not here for that. That's silly. I'm not here for that. Well, That's if I remembered, if I remembered it, I would have presented to you like it was an actual recommendation. But since I couldn't, I'm gonna just tell you that they're they're not serious. Yeah, no, I'm not here for that. There needs to be a little bit of actual storyline. Well, if you are up for a laugh, uh, you should look up uh, Chuck Tingle uh, book titles. <laughs> I like Sergius. Says two out of three women read smut; the other does not. Are you aware? Oh yes, I've read *A Court of Thorns and Roses*. That whole series, I read all of those. That one wasn't even that bad. That, that's what like I was like, oh, this is a nothing. <laughs> Uh, I have not heard of Ice Planet Barbarians. All right, let me grab my phone. See if any of these are available on my Spotify here. Where does this lead? Found the flooded cave. Oh, look at you.
<laughs> stuff that came up instead. There's apparently a song. I'm going to write these down somewhere else. It's my math. Come on, let's find that fade rift. Look at this. How deep do these caves run? I feel like that torch did nothing. Now, uh, the author of the Court of Thorns and Roses does have another series that I have not read yet that I'm thinking about getting. I was staring at it at Target one day. SCP is a weird series of books. People believe that the author isn't a real person. Well, I mean, there's someone that's real. Someone actually has to be writing that shit. No AI, right? I know I'm not here for that shit. Uh, I can recommend you a book series that I've always liked that's not smut. Oh, how dare you try to recommend it to me? What's, I'm just kidding. What is it? It's uh, Stephen King's Dark Tower series. I really like those books. That, like, of the few book series I've actually read, that's one that I've read all the way through. What um, is it? It's called... It, it's the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. Those are really good. Although it has a lot of really um, weird and awkward sex scenes because I feel like Stephen King does not know how to write sex scenes. Oh, no, no, no. That is not a man that writes sex scenes. Absolutely not. But, uh... Other than that, they're pretty good. It's a great story. <laughs> so, Gio, I have a very, very NSFW illustration of one of the book boys from Akatar. And let me tell you, blush. <laughs> Dark Tower is dope. The ending and expansion blow, though. The comics are good, too. I, I Deidre bought me some of the comics, but I, I never got around to reading them. I was pretty disappointed with the movie they made for it, too. I feel like they could have done better. This is a very small book. The Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. And looks like it's included. Dixon. <laughs> yeah, it is. When is this version? Is nine hours? What's going on with this? Ah, that one's in Spanish. Oh, the novellas. Oh, that's great. Oh, interesting. So this one's actually narrated by two voices. Thank God, because. Let's be real. There's sometimes... This, this, this is my first time really going into audiobooks, right? But this lady that's doing the one I'm listening to right now, when she tries to do the man's voice, it just... It kind of... You lose the, uh... Bodies. The immersion. So it's a good idea great. for this one. There's a... There's two people that are narrating it. A male and a female. Thank you, Sergio. That gives me some books to start on. Um, talking about Dark Tower has a few questionable decisions from King, and not all have to do with sex scenes. Yeah, you have to remember that the book was written in the eighties. Remarkable. The first ones were. Yeah. The first like two were written in the eighties, then the next like five are written in the nineties, and then like the last two were written in the early two thousands. The movie sucked, even if the casting was spot on for Roland and the Man in Black. I kind of like Jake, too. The, the kid who played Jake did a pretty good job, I think. It, that, that was an issue with writing. Huh. Sergio says I actually hate being read smut to by male presenting folks. I will will find out. I, I think uh, if it's a male character, sure, let it be read by a male. Then it shouldn't help. It would break the illusion. Oh, God. What? Sergio says, I forgot Dark Tower was half done when he was on Coke. A cola. Not. And half done when he wasn't. Yeah. 
I think book four was the last hopped up on Coke one before he got hit by that van. Oh, really know which, a lot about Stephen King. Okay. Which he actually made like an integral part of the story of Dark Tower. His his getting run over by a van incident. main characters and them readers for my audiobooks. I hate, dude, I hate that so much, this story is joke, that uh, I almost stopped when I read it. I was like, Mr. King, poor gay. It'd be, wait, I'm gonna drive Clayton crazy tonight. Clay, you at your desk? Yes. I must be checking dinner downstairs. He might be doing the checking the crock pot. Yeah. That's what I was gonna ask. Okay. Thank ya. Before you go open the doors, I mean, I would imagine to check the okay, supply crates. You may want to give yourself some heals first. Uh, I don't. Oh, look at that. Is that the rift? I don't know. Well, I don't want to do the supply crate because I. Full. What's it? Okay. I would give yourself some heals then for these two. Oh, you can you can level up. Oh. So I can. These level ups always sneak up on me. I never see them coming. They're not very um well pronounced when it happens. Oh, only I leveled up. Yeah, it was just you. I feel like I'm an Orzammar down here. I mean, it's caves. Yeah, I can see that. But like, this area specifically feels very dwarfish. The columns. And the dwarven deity statues. Let's close that rift. Oh, demons again. Oh, these damn demons. Oh, no. Oh, God. Sergio says, Shelby, I will warn you that when you dive into the smut category of books, there is a subgenre that is prolific that is based around an old game system called Lit Arp. PG has a lot of male power fantasy bullshit and lots and lots of transported into another world where all the ladies throw themselves at you. And be very careful about all the non con stuff out there. It's very annoying. Okay. What's I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to ask oh, that question next. Um, You're coming. I will say that my Instagram shows me a lot of books that are like, I don't know about this. And I'm like, mm, that's a. Uh, I'm not here for that.
A lot of werewolf shit, and I'm like, okay, all right, I get it. I read a court, a court of thorns, but get over it. Non-consensual, dubious consent. Nah, no. You may want to pop Sarah health, maybe? Be very careful about what is called Omegaverse. I'm just going to make a note and then put that a line through it so I know not to go back. Whistling noises going on. It's those little alien xenomorph like guys. May I suggest going into the RT podcast archive and listening to OT3? Yeah. That What's that? From strolling about. Let's tell the man. We have episodes about some of the books and subgenre stuff. That did not have as much fanfare as I thought it would. I've never heard of OT3. That must have been after I stopped consuming RT stuff. I've, I've never heard of that. So now we're gonna. Now we gotta go back to the town and figure out what the mayor's really up to. Yeah, he's sus. With the motherfucking fireworks. <laughs> uh, they won't let me warp to the cave entrance. Nope. Gotta walk it. Huh. Can I use an escape rope? It was one of the plethora of podcasts they spun up during the mini... That they canceled after the factor. Plus, was very female for the female base of their fandom. Oh, okay. I loved the show. All right, I'll write it down. Apparently I can't write the number three. It's an Eba backwards and round. <laughs> it's supposed to get really chilly here tonight. Actually, fascinating to me how many folks who identify as asexual are very into the smut scene. Yeah. Are they okay? I just got dinner delivered. I had leftover chicken and dumplings. Oh, yeah, that last week. How cold is cold? Um, let me tell you exactly how cold cold is. That wraith scared me. supposed to get to 36 tonight and tomorrow it's not going to get warmer than 64 nice so that's pretty dope I wonder why that is Sergio This is very good, babe. Thank you. Stormheart? Must be a mineral. We're having uh, tikka masala over rice for dinner. Delicious. 
I tried to make naan from scratch again. I ran out of time. That's what's downstairs still uh, proving. Oh, the storm went away. It's so pretty now. That one little rift was causing all that chaos. That wasn't little. demon in the caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubts. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. Hey. Lord, use it well. Gift Inquisitor. If only all the spirits were this easy to get rid of. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? There must be something here. Whenever Clayton's back at his um, desk and you were talking about cold weather, he's got something, a really cool story he was telling me about today. Thank you, Sergio. What do you mean the mayor's gone? The mayor's gone, what, huh? Yeah? Uh, Inquisitor, it was not Darkspawn that opened the dam and flooded old Crestwood ten years ago. I did, in secret, the night they attacked. Uh, the undead you've been fighting are people I killed with my own hands. We'd taken in refugees from the Blight. Uh, many were ill. Uh, we moved the sick to the lower part of Crestwood and the refugees into the caves. To stop the disease from spreading, it didn't work. One confessed he'd been... Blight sickness. He's he'd seen blight sickness before. It was always fatal. Uh, when the dark spawn attacked, I knew the only way the village would survive is if the blight sick drowned with the monsters. Cannot bear the sight of old Crestwood now uh, that the water's water is gone. I cannot stay. A letter of confession from the mayor. It says he was the one who flooded old Crestwood ten years ago to stop the blight from spreading. He drowned them. In the muck? Oh, Mayor is having an arrow for tea. That sorry bastard. He left before he could get caught. What a sad mess. Will the Inquisition bring him in? I guess we'll have to go to that mission on the war table to find out. We're sending, uh, what's his face for that one? Oh, yeah. Mr. Punchy Punchy Violence. This is a lot different now that that raging storm isn't happening. Yeah, it's pretty, and you can actually tell what the fuck's going on. Now you can adventure around and do other stuff. Yeah. Like this. Sister Vaughn, which is a thing I... She's the one who wanted me to find the bodies. Yeah. Under protection of the Inquisition. So back off, mister. Oh, I'll join you. Weird way to say. I, I found bodies to cremate. The people who died in Old Crestwood. Blessed, I'm trusting. 
I didn't imagine you'd look yourself. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. It is all too rare these days. I will prepare the bodies for cremation. Maybe because I wasn't planning on helping. I really like this outfit. I'm going to be really bummed out when I have to give it up for better armor. What, they don't have transmog in this Dragon Age Inquisition world? I highly <laughs> doubt it. Whoops. Fucking that. noobs. Um. There is... How was I in here and missed this landmark? Bunch of stuff down in here. Oh, right. That's what we were doing uh. here. Varric has a friend named Hawk who fought Corypheus before. Once, blah, 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 blah. Meet Hawk's warden ally in Crestwood. That's what we were doing here. That's right. But I don't think I can go straight there from here. I think I have to go out and around. So let's go down to this landmark. I just got a text from my aunt. She was able to finally get Fae Farm installed on her Switch, and she's like, I love it. Shelby was joking just before we went live about how she's like, you know what? Let's skip Dragon Age. I just want to play Fae Farm. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I was playing it earlier. Did you play it on stream? I think I might have done one night in it. Just to show what the game was. Very much reminds me of um, Stardew Valley. It literally is like Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing like tied together. Is there combat in the game? Yeah, there's a mine system like in Stardew Valley. Ah, cool. And then you also have magic, so you have a wand and you slowly learn more spells that you can use. Is Isabel there? No. There's also relationships and dating and things like that. Like Stardew. It might be a good game for your mom to play. Whoa. I don't know if she's still playing on her Switch or not. Uh, no, she mostly just plays Stardew on my PlayStation 4. I believe it also, Faith Farm also came out on PC. I can double check. Let me eat this bite. I thought it was going to be Switch exclusive, but then Clayton saw it somewhere else. Yeah, it's also on PC. I don't know if it's on PS. Whoa. Is that a pillar of red lyrium? Oh. I really don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's just available on Switch and PC. Well, she has a Switch. I 
And it looks like on Steam that you have to buy the game, the base game, for $29.99. And then there's a DLC up for $9.99. I got that DLC free. Red Templars ahead. Well armed, even for them. Let's be careful. On oh, my Switch, because I didn't even know about it. And it just was like, update, and I was like, son of a bitch. So this is Red Lyrium. Ah, that's why. Because uh, the Switch, when you buy it, full price is sixty dollars. There's also online co-op, like uh, you can have people over onto your farm, like in Stardew Valley and Bay Farm on your Switch. Oh, that's Sarah. Uh Red Templar. Okay. Then put it on normal. No. <laughs> oh, someone didn't do inventory management this weekend, huh? Oh, no, no. no. Absolutely not. Go find yourself a vendor. Sell some shit, too. There's one right near here. You know what I just remembered? What? My ass don't gotta go to work on Monday. What's on Monday? New Year's Day. Oh. I'm sure y'all aren't open either. <laughs> no, but I do have to go into the office. <sighs> but not for a work-related thing. Gotcha. Well, kind of for a work-related thing? It's complicated. My kind black wall. I know that what comes out of your mouth is the same drivel that comes out of theirs. It might sound that way to someone who's been clubbed on the head too often. Careful, I don't club you on the head. That's what I'd expect from your kind. Sassy. Yeah, those two are getting cheeky. Oh, Sergio saw the very faint arrows. Time to level your party up. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to get to this vendor. This place is a confusing labyrinth. I can't figure out how to get to anything. I assume it's where your yeah the blue marker. Well, there you go. Another 
Did you just sell all your valuables? Yep. Sure? Yep. Okay. You want to sell anything else? I don't know how much space that got you. Also, don't go down. There's a, literally a quest you can collect up here. Oh. Well met, your worship. Well met, your worship. Okay. Anything to report? Or what's, then what's useful about this area, maybe? Did Sister Nightingale tell you why she wanted agents here? We lie on the main road between Denerim and Val Royale. Couriers stop here all the time. For what they're paid, some have surprisingly loose tongues. You mentioned a spy? When's the spy named Butcher supposed to arrive? Half hour ago, by the south gate. I hope he's only delayed. Butcher's last message swore he had secrets for us worth ten times his weight in gold. Anything to report? What's happening in Crestwood? The dragon circling the lake looks hungrier than usual. Travelers on the road will be scarce until it's gone. Okay. Sounds like another, we gotta kill a dragon. Farewell. Another dang dragon? You sure you don't want to look at some of your other stuff and see if you want to get rid of it? Because you only have eight slots. Sergio says, remember the bumpers are your categories. They make it easier to see what is for you and not for you. Ooh, a mace. Your favorite. I hear maces are the best uh, weapon in the game. Hell yeah, OP. Sorto says, I also advise that at this point in the game, most great quality weapons just vendor them. Yeah, I'm going to just fender all the gray stuff.
that's armor and weapons. Alright, that's good enough for now. I kept walking past her and she kept going, well, another time then. <laughs> and I walked past her that time, she didn't do it. What are you, uh, you want to check around here? Look on your map before you go running away? Uh, there's a quest over here. Summers. Okay. Go check those people. Who the fuck are these people at? Who the hell are you? No. She fooled them into thinking she's from the court in Val Rio. They'll treat her well. For a while. It's awful for sending her out without a partner. Oh no. What? Are you saying one of our spies is compromised? Yes, Inquisitor. Miller was captured in Valshavan. She was after valuable information. Perhaps arrangements could be made to bring her back. Oh cool. Now we have a new operation. Somebody snoring over here? <laughs> well, now I'm right back where I was. This place is confusing. down, but down I am. Just once, we should enter a cave and see normal-sized spiders. Nope. There's always going to be big-ass spiders, and I'm always going to fucking hate it. And I don't know I mean, what honest, that is, I don't but that's see not a spider. Spikes. That's a mess. It's kind of blood insect thing, and I don't like it. I mean, to be fair, I don't want to see normal-sized spiders either. At least these don't turn into human skeletons when they die. Ha! Huh. Now you hated that. On some kind of epic quality thing. Oh, what's this? Huh. Well, let me go through that hole. Huh. Quentin says, if you find normal sized spiders in this game, it's going to be a whole swarm of them. Uh, no thanks. Those mushrooms are growing out of a dead bug. Oh, they're well, um, conditioned, I guess. I feel like this is taking me even further away from this quest marker, which I'm pretty sure is at the top of that corner thing over there. I mean, at this point, you're at least investigating a new area. Now you have this little cave icon, so. Oh, we're at the dam. Oh, 
Oh, it came out. From here. Okay. Was there this dragon circling this lake somewhere? I wonder if it's the one we saw last time. No, maybe that's a different area? I can't remember. No, that was here. Okay, then. We, we like, un we mm -hmm. unflooded the dam and then that dragon spawn, dragon guy flew over. By dragon spawn, I mean dark spawn. By dragon guy, I mean arch demon. This leaky dam reminds me of that dam in uh, Outer Wilds. I don't remember what dam you're talking about. It was in that space like station. The center the area? No, it was in the space station, and like there was a river that went around on the inside of it, and there was a dam blocking it. And then after a certain amount of time, the dam would break and a huge tidal wave would go flooding everywhere. Oh, that world. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that world. Ah, oh, damn, that was frustrating. Think I can get around this? The game will not let me get around it. So, no. What is the point of this area? There's nothing here. Something over here is making a noise. Maybe that was the dragon. I didn't hear a noise. There's a whole lot of nothing over here. There's not even enemies to fight. Exciting and event filled little side journey we went on. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a ladder. We're back here again. I keep ending up back here, but I want to get up there or down there. running around in circles. I'm not doing anything. Show me the map. Can you zoom in? I zoomed nope. in as you get. Cool, cool. I'm going to give up on I trying to... I think it's up, so why don't you go to the stairs? It's there. Okay, so that's stairs that go up. So if you get to that level, looks like there's stairs. Now I'm back here again. What does that door to your right do? That door leads down into a spider hole that okay. puts me What's out the by one the ocean. The way across the way. That one? Yeah, That's how I got that in. There's that door here. and there's also this way over here. Oh. 
Oh, of course. Read. Cool. Red. Is there anything out there in that courtyard area? Oh, it's I a big eagle thing. What's that? I think I fought a guy here Owl. once. Really? There's nothing to do here, that ornate thing? Okay. I think this is where I had a fight to claim this castle. Because I think it was full of, like, bandits or something. Looky there. You found it. Good Someone job. Needs to deal with the last of Crestwood's highwaymen. Who has time? Logan killed a guy once. About, it's out. More travelers. More travelers. More news for the Nightingale. Good point. But I've got a code to unscramble if you want to know who killed Comte Fayeur last week. What's this about bandits? Are the highwaymen still in Crestwood? Yes, your worship. Now that their fort is gone, the bandits are ambushing travels. He really the hates bandits. The either. bandits! The town's still reeling from the undead. The bandits! To be fair, they're a bunch of jerks. You might say they're bandits! Oh, look, there's loot. I miss those lights in the lake. Do you miss the you bandits? Oh, not the undead, but you have to admit the sight was beautiful. Make it dark. Uh, you may want to take a moment and level your party as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Before we give Sergio an aneurysm. For all these enemies that are around, gotta make sure we're leveled up. Well, at some point, we're gonna leave and go get shit done. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. One of the one of these days. Just a. I think I finished uh, this tree. I don't think I can do anything else here. This is to, like, do her grenades that she does. Oh, for the love of God, I love grenades. Let's make it happen. You stay oh away my from God. those grenades. No, never. Me and Clayton were watching Taken 2 earlier. It's on Netflix. You're watching what on Netflix? <laughs> Taken 2. Like the sequel Taken to Taken. Two. Oh, With the Liam, Liam Neeson, Neeson? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we were just sitting on the couch eating lunch before he went out to work on his car. And uh, we kept... Pr 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 ah, nice, Quentin. So it's taken to where? Istanbul! Something to say, um, if I we had kept something predicting to say, what was happening in this fucking I'd expect more from a man who can't stop He'd be like, oh, wait, what's going to happen here? Is. Oh, she's going to put I'd the gun no down the fucking hole. Send the gun down, Kim. Like, oh, my brat. God! Oh, well, I didn't hear what they were saying. Uh, they were calling each other names. Say they're cute. <laughs> you two are such men. Well, I'm a man. Best pound your chest so nobody doubts. Okay, all right, you two. Knock it off. But in there, she has, like, all these grenades. That's what made me think about it. And she keeps chucking grenades in a fucking, like, metropolis city in Istanbul. And he's like, throw a grenade so I can listen. He's, like, trying to triangulate where he is and everything like that. And she just keeps chucking fucking grenades. <laughs> she chucks one on top of a fucking parking lot underneath a car and explodes the damn thing. And I'm like, Ser seriously, we're not... How is this not, like, big-ass trouble, like, a grenade goes off in a city, like, four fucking times? Listen, Shelby, yeah. if Qui-Gon Jinn tells you to throw a grenade, you throw a grenade. You don't question it. You don't argue. You do it. Apparently. Yeah. I had his dying laughing, though. So if anyone still has Netflix, Taken 1 and 2 are on there, and I think all the John Wicks are coming in the next couple days. Maybe New Year's Day or something like that. I'm finally going to get to watch all of those. I'm going to try because I know they were on HBO. And I started watching yeah. one and two and then I never finished it. I haven't seen any of them. It's kind of surprising. Oh, look, these guys are back. Are you the bandits? Get down real quick. And... Hiya! Ow. They knocked me over. Back up again. Oh, 
Stop doing your Sith lasers at me. Oh, I'm finding stuff for one of my side quest things. That's always handy. Yeah, Way of the Tempest. I don't know if that's one, which one we're doing. I don't remember which one is that we're doing. No, I want to do Assassin. Well, which one's that called? Way of the Assassin. Oh, never mind. Then. No cool names. Just call it like it is. I would argue that Assassin is a cool name. Oh. Da, da, da. Oh, one of these things. guy with a big spear. That's what she said. So I got two of these done in this area now. And there's a cave over here. Should we go in the cave? Sure. Gonna find some big ass spiders, I'm sure. There's definitely red Templars in here. Cool cave. Cool and useful cave. At least you get some mushrooms. Oh, wait. There's something I gotta collect in the water those and then there. chop them up for recipes in Fae Farm. Those There's viridium. Something the, There's something in the water back there. Some kind of critter. That tail looks dangerous. It's a wyvern. It's a wyvern. But it is level 12, and that's what I am. You should be able to handle it. Okay, I'm gonna go kill it. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm trying to attack this one. I uh, know, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't forget there's different parts. Yeah, you can focus on, like, the head or the tail. Oh, you're the one in the corner now. I don't like this. In the corner's good, that way nobody can sneak up on me. Big one's 
down. Just a little on one down. I love that spinny sword as a sword move. Good god, these things just don't die. They're very durable. Okay, you need help. I need to give Sarah help. She knows how to heal herself. Okay. Now that I've done that, now what? Sir, it's pinging. Ping, make sure there's nothing collectible or lootable or anything like that maybe around this area. Some green? Is that the verid verir viridium over in that corner? Is it glowing? I think. No, that, no, that doesn't. Go, go to the other side of the water. To the left. Now to the right. Okay, my eyes were wrong. I thought there was something green glowing over there. Hmm. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that doesn't go anywhere in this game. Oh. A pinger be pinging. Hey, that's an alcohol. Gotta get our wine thought, cellar full. I thought that for sure there'd be more, uh... Red Templars once it came through this tunnel. Okay, let's check on the road. Going that way. Time for dorky red templars right now. I wonder if you can get like faster horses or train your horse to be faster. What's going on over there? Do you see that? You can do that in a ranch simulator. A long time since we played that. Have they had any big updates recently? They're gonna do in 2024 with the cat and dog one. Oh yeah, we got, we gotta play that. One. These guys. Oh, these guys are level eight. These are nothing. So, 
if you look at my action circle on the bottom right. Yeah. Where all my moves are. There are like these diamonds that are like lit up and they fade into darkness above it. Yeah. I have no idea what that's for. Neither do I. Look at that guy. The Druffalo. Huh. Sergio says, Dim pig fizz is just waiting while y'all traipsing around this fancy pants RPG. This here been farm wisdom. <laughs> farm wisdom. Hey, I'm farming on my fae farm. Yeah. Romancing some fairies. Excuse me, Sarah Buffalo. Oh, another cave. There's a feller standing out front of it. Oh, it's hot. You made it. Jesus Christ. Just got here myself. My contact with the warden should be at the back of the cave. I know this person. Yeah, this fella here. I know this one. I saw other wardens. A group of wardens were protecting a villager from corpses out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men. They've been given bad orders. Who's your friend? We already know. The quest told us. And it's not Bethany. Although she might be there. There's our guy. Oh. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. Wait. You have a Grey Warden with you. Warden Blackwall. You're Blackwall? Uh, Duncan, my mentor, he spoke of you. Duncan. Of course. Good we man. still haven't seen a body from I'm Duncan. Alistair. I don't believe he's dead. It's an honor to meet all of you. Oh, he definitely did. I wish also, it was someplace nicer. Also, he looks so much better in this game than he does <laughs> what with the, what in the other with the games? lower graphics? Yeah. That we had to lower the graphics all the way yeah. down on? <laughs> yeah, Quentin, the guy's shiny. Alistair? Yeah, the Alistair. Are you the Alistair who fought the Archdemon with the hero of Ferelden? I need to change my name. Yes, that was me. War, betrayal, dark spawn, all lots of fun. And made for excellent stories, I'm sure. Nobody cares about that anymore. I answer to Warden Commander Clarell now. What? Like everyone else. That's not his okay. name. That's a person who he No, but who the fuck is that? Oh, I don't know. That's not a name we've heard before. Some kind of warden person. Help, uh, I could use another ally. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though... Might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? When Hawk killed Corypheus, the Wardens thought the matter resolved. But Archdemons don't die from simple injury. I feared Corypheus might have the same power, so I, I started to investigate. I found hints, but no proof. And then, not long after, every Warden in Orle began to hear the calling. Maker, why didn't you tell me? It was a secret. A very dangerous one. Why didn't Blackwall tell us? I keep a few of my oaths to the Wardens. He may have been far enough out that he didn't hear it. What is the calling? Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? Well, Wardens are tied to the Darkspawn. We're connected somehow. And eventually that connection poisons you. You get bad dreams, and then you start to hear the music. It calls to you, quiet at first. And then, so loud, you can't bear it. 
At oh. that point, you say farewell and go into the deep roads to die fighting. In death, sacrifice. And every Grey Warden in Orle is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes, I think Corypheus has caused this somehow. If all the Wardens die, who will stop the next Blight? That's what has them so terrified. So, Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling. And they're falling for it. So, the I... Okay, so I thought the calling was like... When the blight starts and they start having nightmares and stuff, but the calling is when they're at the end of the line. When they dead. Oh, they gonna be dead. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I have no idea. Before all this, I'd barely heard of Corypheus. I didn't even know he was supposed to be a magister until I started digging around. But right now, all that matters is the wardens are acting like they're going to die. Why didn't Blackwall? Why isn't Blackwall doing this? Hopefully we'll find out. You said all the wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall. Unfortunately, there you go. yes. When I'm talking or fighting, I can almost ignore it. But whenever things are quiet, I can hear it. It's like a song you can't get out of your head. Damned annoying, frankly. I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. So I guess There's he is hearing answer. it. So he is hearing it. He's just ignoring it. <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't care. It's got whatever he says. Like I'm gonna die. I don't care. How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I have no idea. I suppose it's part of what he is. Corypheus is tied to the blight and not just a product of it, like most darkspawn. Wardens are connected to the darkspawn too. That's how he seems able to control wardens who get too close to him. And that's likely what he's doing here as well. Somehow. Quince except that one guy who was down there since the beginning of time. We saved that one guy when we last fought, fought Corypheus. I wonder where he is. Yeah, he, he was like hearing an the old... call again. God yeah, he's like an him. old warden. No, he probably didn't leave. I think he stayed down there. I thought we rescued him so he would have fucking left. Why would he stay down there? Because if he's if he's all laid up with the warden stuff and he's hearing the calling, then he's going to stay. But I'm saying we rescued him, defeated Corypheus, so there would have been a time frame when he would have not been hearing it and would have gone off. Mm. And did he go unless back? He, unless... Well, I can't remember why he originally went down there. Did he originally go die. down there because he did hear the calling? Yeah. Well, then well, that would have been, been a natural... trapped down there forever and ever. That might have been a, like a natural, you know, calling, not whatever Corypheus does. <sighs> the Wardens are desperate. So the Wardens are making some last desperate attack on the Darkspawn. I saw what a blight did to Ferelden. If Wardens hadn't stopped it, there'd be no more Thedas. Warden Commander Clarell proposed some drastic things, blood magic and such, to prevent further blights before we die. I protested, maybe too loudly, and Clarell sent guards and, well, here I am. Wardens were gathering here in the Western Approach. It's an old Tevinter ritual tower. I'm going to investigate. I could just... Oh no. I just realized. Okay, we'll go with you. Let's what? Go. This is also affecting the hero of Ferelden. Not yet. If she is still somewhere. Yeah, they said she disappeared, but she if she's in Ferelden, then she's still hearing it. Yeah, she's too busy uh, screwing the guy I set her up with. I can't remember his name right now. <laughs> the guy who tried to cheat on her. 
With Hawk? Shut up. Forgot about that. We should get to that ritual tower in the Western Approach. Ideally before it lives up to its name. Yeah, Was the hero so of Ferelden involved in all this? I'm not sure. After we defeated the Archdemon, she was made Warden Commander of Ferelden. She disappeared some time ago. Not long before I started investigating rumors of Corypheus. There you go. I joined the Orlesian Wardens after I had to flee. If so, hopefully she'll be on our side. But I wouldn't count on it. When Who we is freaking the out in the left quarter? She, <laughs> she walks a dark path. Talk. Talk. <laughs> Jesus. She's like, I don't know where to put my hands. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with my hands. Corypheus was held in a warden prison, right? So the wardens should know all about him. You'd think the wardens would share information with each other, but they're really big on keeping secrets. Maybe they think some knowledge is too dangerous. I don't know. I only found out about Corypheus after I started digging for information. She's playing pong. For most wardens. Be nothing more than an old legend dead long ago. If they knew of him at all. God, she cannot you stop. There, it's great. You? you helped fight the Archdemon. I'm going to be answering that question for the rest of my life. Yes, I was there. It was big. The hero of Ferelden was brave. But that was ten years ago. What have you done for us lately, Alistair? New times. New problems. You could have been a king, but I didn't let that happen. Wait, don't you have a son that's supposed to be the new archdemon? Hmm? That son gone. We're never hearing what anything else like about that. Being a warden. Oh, it's wonderful. Fresh peaches delivered every morning, first choice of local village girls, and bunnies too. Or maybe it's not that. Not even close to that. I watched my brothers die at Ostagar soon after I joined. I never thought I'd see wardens kill themselves. Yeah, do Why were the wardens trying to kill you? When Clarell started talking blood magic and demons to deal with the calling, I said it wasn't a good idea. First, it was awkward silences, some coughing. But when I mentioned Corypheus, things really went wild. The warden mages said I was interfering, called me a traitor. Funny how often that happens to me. <laughs> you mentioned Warden Commander Clarell. Is she behind this? She's the one who summoned me and the other wardens to Orle when we started hearing the calling. I don't know her well. She's a mage. Smart, careful, determined. The sort of mage the Templars told me to keep a close watch over. It makes her the best kind of warden. Or at least I would have thought so. Maybe the Templars aren't wrong about everything. Oof. That's a statement, Do sir. Do you think she's helping Corypheus willingly, or was she duped? Morel would never serve something that looks like a darkspawn willingly. I heard about an advisor of some kind. Maybe we'll learn more at the Western Approach. We'll talk later. Glad I talked to him, because we learned all kinds of... Oh, we can talk to Hawk, too. A lot of good stuff, I yeah. what he said. Hopefully we'll find some answers in the Western Approach. Though I fear what those answers will be. I've seen too much blood magic to ever trust where it leads. Nope, not much from Hawk. All right, Western approach. Kind of want to do this right now because I'm very curious about what's happening. Well, I'm fine, do it. <laughs> um, where is the Western approach? Is that this? No, that's a landmark. Um, it might be easier to find it on your journal, your list of. Yeah, you're probably right. That is. You're in collections, not quests.
Must be a Crestwood quest. All right, maybe not. Oh, here we go. Return to Skyhold. Return to Skyhold and scout the Western Approach. Okay, so it's a different area altogether. Yep. Okay. So it's not. It's not here. Not the Western Approach is something we done. A whole place called Western Approach. Do it. Yeah. We should check on our war table stuff anyways and see if there's anything else we need to set. Yeah, two of them were like 45 minutes and one of them was like two and a half hours. Oh, two should be done. Yeah. Somebody sitting in my chair. Where did demons come from? No. no? Good. I thought somebody was like sitting in my chair manspreading. That's just the design of the chair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> about to be like, oh, hell no, nobody's sitting in my chair. The person that would do it would be Varric. I would I would let him sit in my chair if he wanted to. It would absolutely be a such a Varric move. I can bargain with the Merchant Prince. The only person who Chris can do that is Josephine. Had no further trouble with the undead. After what happened, I think we've read this one already. The we didn't have Josephine available. Inquisitor. <laughs> Josephine. Ready. I found a sigil. Sigils can be attached to armor. Give special bonuses um, uh, along with unique hindrances. I liked it until it said hindrances. This still has an hour and a half. So this will be ready mm -hmm. at 11. Rescue the spy. Oh, yeah, it was the. These two are busy with another mission. I can dispatch armed guards claiming. Uh, uh, claiming Miller is wanted by the Inquisition. Doubt anyone will contest this. What are the other two options? I've arranged an accord between the Marquis and the Dowager. Wonder of wonders. Perhaps they can be useful to us after all. Cool, thanks. Uh, I would our... say Liliana. I would wait on that. Okay. What about this one? Venter Resistance. Uh, send some temp send some Templars north, disguised, of course, real Templars, the, sh uh, the sort who can disrupt magic. That should be all the help she needs. Take two and like almost three hours if we send him. It will take longer if we send the other two. Okay, that yeah, seems fine. Yeah, I like his the most. All right. All right. So about this Western approach. That's you. What's this? Cool. Wicked that's huge. And wicked hearts. Oh, that's a main storyline. That's why. Yeah, but this is also. Hmm. I don't know. I've, I would do the coach, Western coach, and that would yeah. approach, and that's also going to probably give us a whole new area to check out. Oh, it definitely is. What's the matter, Lewis? 
He's an old man with an old man cough. It's the desert biome, and it's real big. All right, we're going to go to the desert. Get your cactus and your can of water. I'm not scared of no dang cactus. When we were playing um, Lethal Company, I kept saying that. Just walk into a room and they'd be talking about a monster and be like, I ain't scared of no dang jack in the box. Sitter, welcome to the Western approach. <laughs> Might give you diarrhea. Decided warden activity we'll see. to the southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. In short, this might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. Sounds fun. Thanks for the warning. Well, it's good to know what I'm in for. Sorry, I don't have more for you. We intercepted a venatory messenger and uh, persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. We have them here. This entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. I was, what Quentin is talking about, uh, I was with Steve, and we were just meandering around, and the Jack in the Box is a monster that doesn't do anything at first. It'll follow you around, but it doesn't that do anything. Sense. But then it starts, like, cranking the handle of the Jack in the Box and plays the music faster and faster and faster until its head pops out and it chases you. Um, But it, it like, who, who said that? You? What is it? It, it, oh, me yeah. and Steve were by one of the like back exits to the room and it like we like turned and looked and it just like slowly walked up to us it, it wasn't like in attack mode yet it was just kind of standing there so I was like yep let's leave and then the next thing I know Quentin died because it went off and went and killed him <laughs> <laughs> wow I was actually making a reference to Jack in the Box the restaurant that we keep talking shit about on stream that Clayton wants to try, Meg hates and I decided I don't like it. I heard it. I hear it. I I've never had it, so I can't speak for my own experiences, but from what I hear, they do a lot of things very poorly. <laughs> they have a lot on their menu and all of it's like a 4 out of 10. Ooh. Oh. And says it tried to get you and I happened to walk in a room at that time and it went after me and I tried hiding in a corner. <laughs> What's the matter, buddy? You have to go pee pee. I think this little old man needs to go pee pee. When you get to a point. Is that rage demon trying to kill me? I think he is. Always. That's not, that's not very nice. That's not very chill with that rage demon. I'm trying to get an angle on this thing. There we go. This is what I want. Close it. As long as none of those things open up underneath me. Ooh. All right, this little old man needs to go pee pee, but it's too cold for me to just throw him out. So, do you want to take a potty break? Yeah, that's fine. Play you at your desk. Uh, yep. All right. So we're gonna take a break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, Sergio, enjoy your dance. We'll be right back. Okay. It, you can only carry one of because it's too heavy. Next says, I think during Eclipse, they might be able to. I don't know. The lighting did look weird when he went outside. What are those things up there? 
What are they These? doing? Yeah. What are they... they look like drilling Power? equipment or a generator. Oh, mosaic piece. Yes. Oh. That's what I want. I don't know where they go to. I want to see the mosaic when it's done. I would, we have to get it all done. Something to destroy. There's something to loot. Yeah, we did. He's so pretty. He's so much prettier in this game than the low ass graphics b before. I thought he looked better in lowered graphics Dragon Age Origins mode. I didn't. Can I break this as. Yes, I can. Guess that answers that. He would have had a much better chance had he been looking like this in the first game. What are they doing to this guy? It's like a red lyrium infused needle and there's a dead guy with red lyrium growing out of him on this table. Like they're experimenting. We have been fighting Templars with red lyrium in it, so it would make sense that maybe this is how they're getting some of them into it. Meg, if we sided with the Templars and not the mages, would the enemies we're fighting during this part be called red mages and not red Templars? You need to watch an Alistair compilation for the first game. He has some good joking dialogue. Okay. I don't think we took him with us a lot. So we missed a lot of that probably. Ghoul's beard. There would still be Red Templars, but the other Templars wouldn't be enemies. Mm. Be more mages. I'd rather fight non-mages than mages. Is this where we came in? I think I went out the way we came in. Yes. How do I get up to you? Oh, we just climb. You know that jumping that you thoroughly enjoy in this game. Take the cargo with the carts. Oh, I guess this doesn't go through. There must be two caves. What am I doing over there? But it's a little ramp. What? What? Oh, it's another hyena. Ball dang hyena. Kind of difficult to kill. I wise. Yeah, they're just sturdy. It is level 11, though. I think I'm level 12. Yeah, that's probably why then. Is that it's not like something that you'll completely over... Powering. Red leather canine leather. Are you still playing a um, Destiny a lot? Hey, 
You know, just telling Clayton, um, I feel like I haven't played a shooter in a long time. He says, nope. No. Haven't played at all this season. Mostly Baldur's Gate 3. Got it. Makes me wonder if even uh, Brandon's still playing. playing. Oh, he is. I can tell you for a fact he definitely is. Well, he's never given up his destiny. I can't help he's but never feel like it's not playing. I can't help but feel like it's my fault he got into as as big into destiny as he did. Because um He we got it for free from something. Something gave it to us for free back oh back when it was on whatever um the, the old launcher it used to be on. What was that service called? Battle? Battle.net? Battle.net, I think is what it's called. Uh, but anyways, he got we got it for free on there from, I think, a, like a Twitch giveaway or something. But he didn't get any of the expansions. And he wasn't sure he wanted to get into it because none of us got into it. But then I saw a sale for it, and I bought it. And I messaged Brandon. I was like, hey, I just bought these Destiny expansions. And he goes, all right, well, I'm going to get it now because I wasn't sure if anybody else was going to play with me. And so then he bought the expansions, and then I, Didn't then I play. think he got hooked. And then I think he got hooked. Oh, I played. I played a lot up until uh, Season of the Hunt. And then I burnt myself out, and then I stopped playing. Sergio says my raid team still plays, but I haven't played with them in a bit. Mostly because they play late at night. Night owls. <laughs> Crazy people. I woke up by myself at 6.30 and went out and went for a walk. It was cold as shit. My ass slept until 6.50 and went, ah, crap. I got to go get groceries and had to jump out of bed, feed the cats and go get groceries. <laughs> I could have swore I saw a spider run through here. Ah. All right, what are we doing out here? I don't even know what we're doing. Checking out the new area so we can get to um that. Like, not that. The... This. Yeah. Hey, scope out the area, basically, before we probably do that, you know. Yeah. Set up some I'll camps. Go to this. I'll go to this camp and then make my way down. Figure out what this is. New area, new adventures. Do you remember at the end of Fable 3? I wouldn't be surprised if you don't remember this at all, but... Um, like, we got... We were in, like, the lair of some monster thing. And then we got... We were, like, all delirious. Odd. And walking through a desert. And I don't remember a lot of the details, so I'm being pretty vague because I don't remember. But this like craggy desert really reminds me of that part of Fable Three. It was like a DLC epilogue chapter thing. No, I don't remember any of that. I'm tr I was trying to no. It just reminds me a lot of the Horizon. There's like an area and. Quietly hides so the dragon leaves. Hell no, I ain't fighting no dragon. You kidding me? I'll get my ass killed if I do that. I can't help but feel like I'm not supposed to be here. I mean, you are a cliff. I'm gonna go back. There's a walkway, you know, straight into the right. Oh, big boy. Hello. Is that guy mean? No, he's not mean. What are you? You're a gurn. He's a gurn. <laughs> huh. Gurn Max says, you did successfully avoid every pathway. That's what he's good at. Gurn I want to ride you, gurn. 
feel like you'd be a good uh, horse substitute. Mm-hmm. I was looking, I was run. I wasn't running in the opposite direction of the marker. I was trying to get to this landmark and I was thinking that was the way to get up this hill. <laughs> There's a reason why I did the things I did. There's another gurn. There we go. I'm on the other side. How do I get up this? Don't drink. Don't drink at the mine again or you're fired. I think he got fired. Yeah, I think he did. Well, I don't know how to get up this. There's a, okay. There's a... what? Show me the map. What are you trying to get to? I'm trying to get to this. Okay. Maybe I need to go in the cave. It looks Maybe like it's, it's in... on a hill. Looks like it's high up, but not at the highest point if you look at like the textures on the map. Yeah. So maybe let's find a pathway, an actual pathway. Maybe it's inside. Maybe it's inside a cave. Well, Meg gave us a hint. So, uh, could be underground in that cave, so I guess we're cave diving. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's down that steep drop. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Stand. Logging stand. Still need some quarries. <laughs> Make all excited it would. Don't hop. Pick the elf root. There was something on the... What? No, it's okay. It was just a resource to then pick up. Honestly, I'm just kind of following this Gurn right now. He seems to know what he's doing. There's something kind of fadish in the distance straight ahead. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's a rift. There you go. Do it. There's something shiny in the distance. That's a dead burn over ways, there. Gern. Thank you for pit leading the way. How tough are these fellas? Not that bad.
Zynga. Bam! There was a thing in the distance. If you keep going the direction you were going. Thing in the distance? It's like sparkle oh. right there. You see the thing? I think it's a Rorcalcum. That's what it looks like, anyway. Let's go find out. Yeah. It's right, you're right there. My marker. Right there. But. Mine as well. Puppy! Mine. I licked it, so it's mine. You said that doesn't matter when it comes to cookies. Mm -mm. All right. Well. Didn't mean to do that. Murder! Trying to bring up the map. Oh. Makes his I want cookies. Oh, there's some shit going down there. Who's down yeah, there? Looks like looks like some bandits fighting a uh, hyenas. So I'm gonna let them let them fight. Maybe they're not bandits. Maybe there are. Could they? Be it's friendlies? all red on the radar. It's oh. all red. They're all bad guys. I'm gonna fight this one lone one. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna fight these two lone ones. Oh, Hello. Sergio says you should still have some chewy chips ahoy downstairs. Look at him nicely reminding you about cookies. Man, I love chewy chips ahoy. They made these chewy chips ahoy once. I don't know if they still make them or not, because I haven't bought cookies in a long time. But um they were like chewy chips ahoy that had like goop in the middle, like a chocolate goop or a caramel goop. And they were really good. Like a soft center type deal. Yeah, like a goopy goopy goop. Some scary red Templars. Just claim the t claim the camp before they kill them. Apparently, I feel like matter. it should not let you be able to do that. They're like praying or something. Yeah, guys, don't worry. I got it. Don't help. Jerks. All right. Oops. Here lies the abyss. This is the main story. I was actually almost there. <laughs> but there's a landmark right here that I want to do. Come on, clear out some stuff here. Inquisitor. Hold on. Hold your britches. Whoa, 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 whoa! Nailed it. Uh. It all went according to plan. Fine. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You're, 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 <laughs> you're speaking crazy speak right now. What's the, oh, there's a hidden stairway. Yeah, who put that there? What is this? That's a shard. Uh, what is this? Who knows? Let's go find out. Inquisitor. 
What? Just telling you. She's talking to you. Oh, she's just greeting me. Oh, wait. Let's take a nap. This is where those guys were fighting the hyenas. Giant's staircase. Oh, it's a landmark. Mine. All right, so. Next bit of story is this part. even become friends with Alistair. They only met like once. Her sister? Oh yeah, I guess that's true. So that, dorks? that we King saw coming from the tower. It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. I'll guard your backs. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Find it just as I should. Well, this isn't good. No, really not. They each have their own Inquisitor. thing. What an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Edamond de Virantium, at your service. I'm guessing you're not a warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? I've already got a head start. It looks like you've already done some of my work for me. What, him? We simply needed his blood. Oh, were you hoping to garner sympathy? Maybe make the Wardens feel a bit of remorse? Wardens, hands up! Hands down! Corypheus has enslaved them. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the Wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Including Tavinta. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarell full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. I saw this at Redcliffe. Corypheus marching across Orlais with an army of demons. That was in the future I saw at Redcliffe. And now you know how it begins. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. Do the questions. Do you really want to see the world fall to the Blight? What do you get out of this? The Elder One commands the Blight. He is not commanded by it, like the mindless Darkspawn. 
The blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. No, Livius, you're the tool. As for me, oh, for the elder oh. rules from the Golden City. We, the Venatori, will be his god kings here in the world. So Corypheus influenced the Wardens and made them do this ritual? <laughs> made them? No. Everything you see here, the blood sacrifices to bind the demons, the Wardens did it of their own free will. Fear is a very good motivator, and they were very afraid. That's a lie. The Grey Wardens are heroes. They would never do this willingly. The Grey Wardens care about nothing save stopping blights. They will do anything to accomplish that. You should have seen Clarell agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose. Why would the Wardens try to kill the old gods? A blight happens when Darkspawn find an old god and corrupt it into an archdemon. If someone fought through the deep roads and killed the old gods before they could be corrupted, woof, no more blights. Ever, the Wardens sacrificed their lives and saved the world. Although I fear history will remember them a little differently now. Why would Clarell risk using demons? Demons need no food, no rest, no healing. Once bound, they will never retreat, never question orders. They are the perfect army to fight through the deep roads. Or across all a, now they are bound to my master. Let them go. Release the wardens Let from the binding. My and people go. I won't ask twice. No, you won't. The elder one showed me how to deal with you. In the event you're foolish enough to appear again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the fame. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... Ah! <laughs> awesome. Bring it on, bitch. Kill them! That's a Mass Effect animation right there. Thing takes so long to die. I was really weird. They refused to listen to reason. You were still right. dying. <laughs> yeah, broke. The mages are enslaved to Corypheus. And the warden warriors? Of course. Sacrificed in the ritual. What a waste. They were misled. Eremond lied to the wardens. They were trying to prevent future blights. With blood magic and human sacrifice. Hawk, they made a mistake, but they thought it was necessary. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. We can't say much. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I may know where the Wardens are. Eremond fled that way. There's an abandoned Warden fortress in that direction. Adamant. Excellent work. Good thinking. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. Oh yeah, Meg's telling us that there's some important shit around here. I'm gonna miss that every time, so... Feel free to always point out the orange ring. Ooh, more booze. So the dude 
was up here. I knocked him over, and then he went this way. It's he really a slide this, down. He goes through this little hole. Yeah. That's an animal noise. Mine. But that uh, clutching his belly and then slinking off like he did, that's a Mass Effect animation for sure. I've seen that a million times. Okay. Oh, hello. Why are you guys up there? Oh my god, there's such a They're always jumping on stuff. What kind of silly person jumps on stuff? Really? Stop licking the ground, Logan. It's mine. Before you go leaving this area, like this... this Western approach. I would look and see what other stuff we can do here to try to oh, yeah, finish up some more. Okay, that's good. definitely the plan on my end. Uh, let's do this camp. Where's the fourth camp? Take a little jaunt over here. Oh, you see that? Yeah. It's another rift. There's a hy hyena coming on your right. Well, he's already getting hurt by something. Probably someone's arrows. Arrows, arrows. That's 11. 11. Too bad. Lick that sand. Mm. Tastes like graham crackers. Turns out that this desert is just a desert of granola. Yeah. Mm. I live in the they desert. crumbled up gingerbread cookies. Spoilers, suspect. Doing all that right behind Blackwall, and he didn't give like a blink at all. He's just like standing there, like, okay, cool. All right. He's seen it a hundred times. He yeah. knows the deal. Been there, done that. <sighs> no lick sand? Hmm. Gotta have some granola. Oh, she's telling me to lick this sand. Uh-huh. Bye. Oh, I can't lick the sand until that guy's dead. Gotta claim the area, but you gotta clear it out first. There you go. Mine.
I wonder if running in the sand actually makes the horse slower. Like in real life. I was gonna say, in real life, yes. In video game, probably not. You know, they ain't gonna do all that shit. I was like, oh, I want a horseback ride on the beach. I'm like, that horse is having a terrible time. Don't do that. Is that a red Templar down there? No, it's a quest. Let's get this set up. My potions back. Get out of the way. The horse is freaking out. Mine. I licked that griffin statue. It's mine. Yeah, griffin wing monument. Visitors, thank the maker. It's been so Dude, it's hot as hell. Why the hell are you wearing that over your face? Have it's got a little fan in it. Too? And a, like, a little a water spritzer? Had these on yeah. Dead. He, he fills up the water with those little metal nipples on his, like, frock. This is terrible oh, news. okay. I am Frédéric of Cerro, foremost researcher of draconology in Orlais. I came here with an expedition from the university. But the others are all missing, and our work has been halted. White Claw Raiders have made off with much of our supplies. You will help me reclaim the equipment, will you not? You will champion the advancement of science. You're a scholar. What can you tell me about this region? <laughs> the Western Approach is a remarkable place, as you are no doubt aware. Many magnificent creatures make their home here. Vargas, dragons, phoenixes. They thrive where few others can. The land was poisoned by the second blight. The warden fortress his face is has clipping through his mask. Time. Yeah. Before the blight, he's got to breathe the somehow. Imperium ruled here. Through his eye holes. Actually, I saw some Tevinters recently, studying the runes, perhaps. Also, it looks like his eyebrows are looking through his eye holes and not his eyes. Yeah. See that? The rest of your team went missing, and there are raiders all over the area. Should you be here alone? I don't know what happened to the rest of the expedition, but the raiders have left me completely undisturbed. I have also seen Grey Wardens and strangers in odd black clothing, but they all ignore my presence completely. Why? Tell me about yourself. I am a professor at the University of Orlais. I have made it my life's work to write the definitive monograph on the hunting habits of dragons and their closest kin. On this trip alone, I have produced 20 scrolls of notes. More scholarship than has ever been done on the Southern Vargast. But my hope, What's my up, vision, is to observe the abyssal yeah. high dragon taking her prey. A sight no scholar has ever recorded. Can you go. tell me ways in which you can kill a dragon? <laughs> Sword. I was hoping maybe he could tell us more so we'd make a fight against I dragons easier, but it's probably not. Right here. But, oh, some of our equipment is still missing. If you happen to find more of it, please let me know. We'll have to speak some other time. I should go. So, everyone else who enters this desert dies, but they leave Frederick alone. Uh-huh. Odd. I thought so too. Yeah, because Frederick fucking rules. And everybody else sucks, that's why. What is this? Seeing red. Varric saw enough red lyrium in Kirkwall. Primeval red lyrium deposit. Let's go check that out. I don't know what that is, but... Varric wants us to do it. Varric gets what Varric wants. I'll see you to that. all this gray wardens I think the thing behind you no 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 up and to the left oh. 
So those big explodey rocks are the uh, the what you call it? Because I've done two of those already. Yeah, they're larium, red larium deposits. Oh, that's just sand right in front of me. I thought uh, that's my barrel. Can you go uh, down in this pit here? I think so. Oh, okay. No, oh, there's an end. And mine. I need two Ooh, more of those. Got a quarry. Finally. <laughs> Meg just said quarry. Finally. Huh. I wonder. Yep. <sighs> Thank you for saving first, said Meg. Well, oh, well, down I go. <laughs> Thank goodness he had already saved. Took almost all my health off. So we're just going to pop that save back. I have a, I have like a quarter of a second of delay on this uh, setup we're using. So oftentimes when I'm running towards something and I'm going in the wrong direction, I try to correct it. But since because of the delay, I always overcorrect and almost always end up in just as much trouble as I was before. Sure, blame the second quarter second delay. I, I was. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Memories of the gray, whatever that means. Let's do it. So those things you have to like ping ping until you find it type deal. Oh, they're the ping pings? Okay. They're the there's ping also, ping. Uh, there's a rift over there too we can close up. There's an orcalcum on that hill right there. Got to do some ping ping to get your bling bling. What's your ching ching? Nope, nope. Cha-ching, cha-ching. That means money. Oh. I'm sitting here thinking, what does that mean? Ching-ching. Cha-ching. I've never heard of that before. You've never heard cha-ching? I have. I'm being, I'm being okay. silly. All that made me think about is being a child, especially because it's like Christmas right now, and Who getting those a... Things? I don't know. Are those anteaters? Oh, he's got weird tails. Uh, getting like tails. a... Like a grocery store checkout cash register. That's what you uh, get for toys as a child. The bar guest. It looks like an anteater, but mean. A weird, weird tail thing that I bet she's gonna turn around and smack you. It looks really soft. This is the thing that Frederick said he had scrolls and notes on. Oh. oh, the thing we were like, what's that? Gotcha. I had a Barbie one, and it had, like, even, like, the little mic on it that you could, like, do over the store grocery, uh, <laughs> um, like, call-outs. Why are we giving this for children for toys? Like, I want to go work as a full-time job in a grocery store as a cash register... Checkout person. Gotta get you trained early. What was that? I don't want to talk oh, to you. I wanted to jump over your table. Researcher. What can I do for you? We'll have to speak some other time. I wanted to jump over the table, not talk to Frederick. <laughs> Dang it. Max says, toys with fake money do help kids learn about currency and counting. So play Monopoly. It also teach teaches you how to be a vicious business um, maker. 
Listen, everybody knows that landlords are the most morally just people. Everybody knows this. Everyone knows you need Park Place and Broadway. Oh, yeah. And you want to put that shit straight up to a hotel as soon as possible. Which, by the way, in Houston, there is a place where there's two roads that cross that are Park Place and Broadway. It's really fucking great. Yes. That rules. Somebody just said something. I don't know who it was or what they I said. I think it was Dorian. Maybe. And there we go down. How do Railroads, too. Yes, railroads. Absolutely. Can't put houses and on utilities. them. But if you can get. Utilities is good. If you can get more than one railroad, you're good. I like. Pinging senses are like going berserk. How tough are these guys? These guys are pretty tough. They're just 12. You're 12. You can handle it. That one has like bigger horns. On it. Hold it close and then send it away again. Hold it close. Oh, you're ugly. Throw it back. Mm, that's better. Fight from a distance. He's like, ugh. <laughs> Wait, did I close all the rifts here? How many were here? I don't know. Does it say quest complete for rifts? Is it up here? Then you did. Huh. I think this is the first region I've closed all the rifts in. No. I feel like we've definitely closed them and one that there was a smaller area somewhere we did. Oh, there's alcohol. Gray whiskey. Some more booze. Oh, down I go. There's more ping pings over here. We've yet to find the warden thing either. All right, it's up there. A lot of bones here. Probably up there. Ray Warden Sword. Good find. Thanks, man. There's that aura calcum. I think I just get to by going out over there. No, but get, no, okay. Didn't want to take Still the Still something there. Anyway. It's, you know, uh, yeah, it's like some. I think it's loot from the monsters I killed. Oh, it's pinging the ladder. Hmm. We had those two circles. Yeah, because it was the ladder on the, the upper level. First level, level and then the second level. That's mm -hmm. silly. I like those ant eater monsters. They're really cool looking. 
Frederick can tell you all about him as he studies them. There it is. All right. Um, what is this? Shard, shard, shard. Camp I've already been to. On the Chantry Trail, some Chantry symbols hidden in the desert. They appear to lead somewhere. Okay, I can go to. Oh, this is that. Uh, dang. What is this? A shard? Oh, Frederick's, Frederick's livelihood. Oh, uh, okay. White Claw Raiders have made off with Frederick's supplies. Search the area where White Claw Raiders are active to recover the supplies. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I guess we got to get some White Claw. Quest says to get White Claw. All right. I don't like White Claw. Never had it. I don't really want to try it either. I just I'm not a fan of You just of don't like alcohol anymore, I feel like though. That yeah, that and also I'm not a big fan of like seltzer water even without alcohol. Like flavor like water flavored water, bubbly water. Patsy says, Happy almost New Year everyone. Thank you, Patsy. Happy New Year to you too. Thanks, Patsy. I'm angry at the people that are uh, already lighting up the sky and making it dangerous for everybody. Patsy and I learned some... What's that thing? Pull back. Oh, hey, we're Max friends, right? Oh, Colin Quentin out for a duel. Ain't no logs when you are drinking claws, Sergio. Patsy says, <laughs> seltzer water is gross. I like certain brands. And they're very light carbonation. I'm just... I, I just don't prefer it. If I'm going to have... A, a liquid, I would rather it be like super sugary or just one. Very, there's no gray area for me on that, I don't think. Patsy says it tastes like dirty water. <laughs> I, to me, it doesn't taste like dirty water, it just tastes tart, and it's not what I want. These gurns had their guts eaten out. I, uh, I saw a great TikTok one time where somebody took a sip of uh, uh, LaCroix and they just went, why does this, ta why does this drink taste like a B sounds? <laughs> what? <laughs> why does this drink taste like a B sounds? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. It made me laugh. Oh, it's down. Okay. That's what I thought too, Patsy. But he means B E E, like yeah, a, like a bug, like a honey bee. This is mine, by the way. Good job. Meg says that is a good description. Clay. Oh, yeah, I found that I out, gotta, Meg. I gotta step away. I found that out, Meg. The hard way. Is this a quarry? What is this? Ooh, mosaic piece. Shelby will be happy to know I found that. Still don't know what they do, but I got one. Ghoul's beard. 
Oh, interesting. My inventory's filling up, I can tell. Whoops. Oh, not that bad. And... Mine! This is that one I was trying to get to before. When I was climbing around on that hill outside. That was this one. Where are my... Where are my teammates? Oh. There you guys are. Where, where were they? Need this blood lotus for one of my potions. I don't remember which one though. All right. Spindleweed. Call the deep mushroom, but it's just out here. Oh, I'm stopping. Well, I'm not stopping because I'm moving, but I'm stopping. I've stopped. Yeah, didn't I grab a death root? Is there more death root to grab? Oh, there's a thing to loot right there, too. The name on the manifest is Frederick of Seralt. Oh. Didn't we meet him? I did need that, too. I don't see any more death root. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's more over here. Oh, I need the death root for the way of the assassin also. I don't know where I'm going to get those Assassin's Guild leader tokens from. I guess just I'll get them by playing the game. Alright. Let's keep a going. Some kind of critter right there. I see it on the minimap that I do look at. supplies I ran away from earlier. No, that doesn't sound like me. Well, this is so far away. The Venatori. Oh, wait. No, it's over here. Shantry Trail. Okay, let's just warp here. Nazarene's Pass. All right. Eater guys. Those guys are cool. I like the way they look. They're kind of scary though. The end must be nearby.
That blood's been staying on my clothes for a long time. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. A little Welcome bit of cat back. Fight. Who won? The cat or Clayton? Clayton. Nice. He scared the bejesus out of Trey, so maybe he won't do it again. <laughs> Is this a big face? Oh no, it's a tipped over statue. I thought it was like a big face. Like I thought this part down here was the beard. I mean, technically it does have a big face because it is a big statue. Yeah, but I thought the whole thing was a face. Elemental barriers can be destroyed with enough of the opposite type of elemental damage. Spirit barriers can only be damaged by a mage's lightning attacks. Does he have light? Just shoot normally with Dorian. That's <laughs> his thing. Oh. How convenient. Why am I invisible? And you pop something for your assassin or sneak sneak. Yeah, Always just shoot with your mage. <laughs> Gotcha. So Patsy and I were, uh, I was helping Patsy this morning set up her stream. And I learned some pretty cool stuff that I didn't know that they implemented into like Streamlabs and Twitch and whoops and, uh, all kinds of stuff. Like we were yeah, going through we the We don't settings. really use Streamlabs anymore. But it wasn't just Streamlabs, it was Streamlabs and Stream Elements and even Twitch's own thing. Oh, another mosaic piece. So I'm just, I'm just, I was, we were going through it and I was like, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. Was that all? Was that all of it? So that's the way I came. Can anything else? The whole point of this to come down here and get a mosaic piece? There's lots of shit to loot. And yes, they're important. I want to finish the fucking mosaic. I don't even know what the mosaic is. Is it at the skyhold? Yeah, it's going to be a decoration. There's like pieces. This looks important. Can't open it though. <laughs> no, the whole point was to read that thing that you didn't read. Got it. It's very good. Well, they, sh they should have had somebody say what it was when I looked at it. It was their fault, really. Dorian should have been like, oh, I can't believe that's the cool guy club that you've just joined. Huh. All right. This is Frederick's livelihood. Unfinished business since the Seeker's strange absence. Uh, some of their high-profile cases have left unchecked. Help Cassandra hunt the targets below. Take down Leo of Lucian Bay in the Western Approach. Memories of the Grey. Blackwall possesses maps. So let's go here and then close this rift, which they lied. There's more rifts. Yeah, Meg had said earlier it might just be that area. Um, that particular spot. So let's go here, close this rift... Do this unfinished no, business. Did not make. And then this. And then what is this? Assault on Griffin Wing Keep. We'll do that later. Alright, let's do this. Patsy says it was a win win. Cool new things. Yeah. Because I was I was helping her set some stuff up. Well, simultaneously, I was learning some new stuff. I think I think every few years it might be good to like just go through Twitch's settings and see what new stuff they've added while we weren't paying attention. Because we were going through it, and I'm like, I didn't even know you could do this. <laughs> Here's the thing: you and I didn't know. There's a pretty good chance, Clayton. <laughs> I don't think Clayton knew about the thing that I learned. Oh, okay. Because it's something that we should have incorporated a while ago. Oh, 
shoot me. Oh, you son of a gun. But yeah, those are uh, Patsy's uh, emotes from her channel. Oh. Might do another test stream tomorrow if I can swing it. Oh god, that one great. Patsy, have you said publicly I, I don't want to take your uh, moment away from you, but have you said the publicly the thing that you've earned yet? With your channel? Yeah, she put it on Discord. Oh. Did she? Yeah. I didn't see so that. she's an affiliate? <laughs> That's what yeah. you're talking about? Yeah, she put it on Discord. Okay, I, I, I didn't see that. Um, but yeah, congratulations, by the way. Liliana is ready to Some report Some fun in. stuff. Thanks, nice. Over here. Patsy says, I'm officially a Twitch affiliate. Oh, I like that emote. We're all getting worked up over this silly little puppy. <laughs> did you hear it do the hyena laugh? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I didn't hear any of the other ones do that. Where am I going? Oh, there. I remember, I don't know if it's the same now, but back when we were trying to work on our affiliate, um... There was a subscriber amount you needed to reach before you got invited to be an affiliate. And I remember I was out with RT Florida one day. <clears throat> I think it was for uh, Emily's birthday. And I was like, yeah, man, like we're just like 15 followers away from being like at the limit for affiliate. Like everybody pulled out their phone <laughs> and started following and you and Clayton were streaming. It's like, what the fuck is going on? And like, cause I was like, I was out at a, a like, it was a Dave and Buster's or something. Oh, God. We were all at Dave and Buster's, and I was talking about I was like, yeah, like, we're so close to getting affiliate, but, like, we need, like, 15 more followers. And, like, everybody whipped out their phone. It was great. Saying Dave and Buster's, man, that, uh, that takes me back. I'm glad. Uh, I'm good. Uh, oh, got to be Dorian. Patsy says, it's awesome how people will be supportive in that way. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, Patsy was telling me how she mods for a few other channels. And uh, when she started streaming, they all, like, hopped in and started supporting her and stuff, which is really cool. Oh, there's a shard here. All of that for a shard. I don't think I'll ever go to Dave & Buster's ever again. I would be okay never going to Dave and Buster's ever again. Yeah, like I'm good. I'm real good. I'm I'm <laughs> Dave and busted out busted up busted over about I'm, that joke didn't work, I'm bailing on it. <laughs> uh Patsy says I want to set up a shout out bot to say hello to streamers. It gives people a button to follow them. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I've seen people with shout out bots. We we don't have one. We should get one though. Although I think one of the bots we use might have it implemented. We just need to turn it on. Logan, I hear him getting a lot of good, big ideas in his head. And uh, I'm just going to throw this one out there. Don't forget, I'm going to tell make you follow up and take some just big, great ideas, sir. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? You'll be in charge of making sure it happens and to do it. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Patsy says, I'm very thankful for all the communities that have been so supportive. Yeah, once you get into a no good, good bunch we'll of people, have to find another way. it works well. Uh, when someone that you don't want to find your channel and then you're like, ah, I gotta get rid of this shit. I gotta get rid of this shit. Let's see. So when you try to actually open it, not chop it, does it say anything like uh, yeah, a key needs, or something? It says uh, something about a mechanism. I'm guessing there's a switch somewhere. Okay, this door can open by some kind of mechanism. All right. Maybe does the 
journal entry for this tell us more about what's going on? Uh, I don't know if there is a journal entry for this. Is this just a landmark? Yeah. All right. I guess we can look around. Oh, Meg just says leave. Never mind. But how are we to do this? Maybe we can't. Yeah, I guess we're story locked. All right. Well, I think that's about everything except for the shards. What's this? What's that that's to the left out there? It's a fade oh, rift. There's a fade rift. And there's assault on Griffin Wing Keep. I guess we could do this fade rift and then Griffin Wing Keep, and then we'll be, we'll be done with this for now. Okay. Uh, where's the mechanism? Once you've done other things. Okay. All right. We can't get the mechanism yet. I just thought it was. I thought I was being silly because uh, she's like, I pressed A, and she says there must be another way. So I just started stabbing it. <laughs> this is the way. Do -do 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 -do. The abyssal ledge. Can I go down the abyssal ledge? I think this is where that quarry was that I got a while ago. Yep, I see my flag down there. Ooh, oh, that looks ominous as fuck. That must be big whatever. Big ass spikes. A keep. That must be whatever wing keep. Stinky wing, wing keep. fellas oh they're easy Oh damn it! I Josie was kissing us, getting right up in there, but she's actually been fooling knobs all along. Good too. My lady's adept at her special brand of warfare. All <laughs> smiles and pleases, like giving us their stuff, does them a favor twice over, and they love her for it. Best idea ever. I have to steal that one. Yes, Sarah, you go right on ahead. Okay, you two. Oh, question mark. I have no idea what she was talking about. <laughs> More importantly, Patsy says, I read somewhere that he's not going to be the Mandalorian anymore. Pedro Pascal. Oh, Meg found the cookies. Uh, I have not heard this, but I don't follow up, up with uh, news. That's, not that's been a rumor that's been going around since season one of Mandalorian. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much into that. But also, how much more do they have to tell all that story anyway? I don't think very much. It may just be the end of that. Yeah. It, it, the, the final season seemed pretty f final for that story. Unless they do like Yeah, cameo. but where there's money, they'll find a way. This is the way. Sergio says, fairly certain Patsy is right. So maybe they will get rid of him as the Mandalorian because his story is done and they'll do more other outside scheme spinoff type things. This is the way. Oh. Puppy. So it just says, if I remember correctly, the next season is not about his story. It's more about Bo. Yeah, I mean, it's a show called The Mandalorian. So The Mandalorian does not have to be that guy, uh, what's his name? Hey, Frick, what's his name? Just kidding. I meant, I meant the character's I, I name. His name is. Uh, Bob. I'm gonna remember it. Yeah, I'll Bob. Oh, look, it's a dinosaur. It. Uh. What's happening? Things are not going well. 
Because we're in a sandstorm? Turn back! This is madness! What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't... You've unlocked an operation on the war table. So there's some kind of issue with sand? Like a windstorm? Oh, I think we're on the other side of that. No, wait, no, we're on the wrong side of the map. You walked into Data Valley. It is green. So we're probably going to have to do something there on the war table until we figure out a way around it. There's going to be some kind of solution or masks or something like that. Oh, this is a That's phoenix? Neat. That's what a phoenix is? That's not how it is in Harry Potter. That's not how it is in other media. And everyone has their own interpretation of shit. That's the grandmother of all locks. We're not getting in here. So what you're saying is I just need to invite my grandmother over? How badly do we want to get in that door? Uh, not that bad. Okay, so I guess we can't get close to that. I'm unsure what caused that to happen, by the way. The, the green ass smoke. Oh. I see it now. Hey, thanks, Patsy. Thank you, Patsy, for using your uh, Twitch Prime subscription on us. We appreciate it. Don't forget, everybody. You're uh, going to get ads with your Prime video moving forward. Or you want to be a sucker and pay $3 more. I got to make sure that doesn't auto fucking happen. Because Clayton, we gonna have. I'm pretty ads. sure they're not gonna want to lose that ad revenue on purpose. Eh, we'll deal with that later. That's a good point, Meg. However, I'm not the Prime member email account holder. <laughs> so I wouldn't know. Oh, good. Thank you, Meg. Thank you for telling me because Clayton would, he's been like later on, like six months later, like, oh, yeah, see, this has been charged on my card the entire time. Bitch. So I don't think it'll be automatic. I think that's something you have to opt into. Uh, it would be really shitty of them to not <laughs> make it something. Or Shall it'd be really shittier than to make it automatic, it would be though. my pleasure. Wouldn't surprise of course, me. we are talking about Jeffrey, so who knows? <laughs> Finally, a door I can smash open. Yeah, run away. Lots of fighting. Can I go down the well? So Meg says it but starts on a specific date regardless of when you last renewed. So I get why people are update who literally just renewed for a year with no ads at all and then suddenly they roll out ads. Why they're upset. Um so I would Google it, but see my computer's currently in use by someone else. I just think it's a Is bit it silly that um, one of the most profitable countries in the entire world so desperate for money that they have to put ads on something that's never had ads on it before. So stupid. Something is just <laughs> smashing up near me. Meg says, like, if I paid, like, $80 for the current service, I'd be pissed if they char changed my service before it was time to renew. I don't know, are they doing $3 a month, or is it just $3 a year? Because if it's $3 a year, get the fuck over it. I doubt it's $3 a year. That's bullshit. That's nothing. Oh, it was nothing. this walkway that broke. At least Disney Plus was like, hey, come renewal, this will happen. It's a month. Let's be real. We're all using our... We're, no one is paying for Prime to get Prime to... Not a fucking soul out there is paying $130 a year so that they can fucking have Prime Video. They're oh, no, we, we pay for, for free because, shipping. Exactly. We're all fucking paying for it for all the other bajillion fucking perks we get from it, which is, starts with the two-day shipping. That's what it is. 
Prime Video is just a happy, cool cuppa. Come up and. This dude shot an arrow at me, but I went to loot that box and I ducked down and it went over my head. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but that's what it looked like happened. And you know, there are so many other things that you do get through Prime. Like, just other perks. Like, you get the Twitch, one free Twitch subscription every month. Here, Inquisitor. That we would be happy if you spent on us. <laughs> but there's nothing. so many other things. Are you really gonna care about some fucking ass? I do. Uh, well, we know you love it. You do I realize hate. that we make money off ads. You, you have to, you have to recognize that. Yeah, I know that. We make like thirty-two cents a month. <laughs> but we do it. We roll out ads as part of our agreement to stream on Twitch on our channel and make ad revenue on it. So I, I'm aware of this. Bro, watch some ads, folks. Leave stream, come but, back, watch an ad. But at least mute the ads. Don't let them advertise to you. There's nothing wrong with being advertised to. I like ads. There's absolutely nothing wrong with so it. I so much shit. It's how you learn about cool movies coming out, cool products coming out. Like that's, I'll, I'll never understand this psychotic aversion to learning about cool new stuff coming out. Because I feel like they're tricking me somehow, and I don't like No, it. they're just telling you. It's the same thing we do every week when we send out a weekly tweet. Hey, here's what we're playing this week. That's <laughs> all it is. Here's I feel like when I watch. Out. I feel like when I'm watching something, then an ad pops up. I feel like they're trying to trick me into buying something or or fall for some sort of trick. That is. They're trying to trick me somehow. I know they are. It's completely manufactured on your part. No one can trick you to spend money. You have to willingly do it. I will do anything and everything I can do to not be advertised to. Including spend more money, which is ironic. I'm not spending money on that. I just won't watch Prime Video, which I don't do anyway. But I mean, you have subscription. You pay for YouTube so you don't watch ads. Oh, yeah, definitely. So you're are, so you're paying for something so that you don't get the ads that for something cool you might enjoy. But also it interrupts. It also interrupts me. Okay, so on on YouTube, it's specific. I watch so much YouTube, I, I I get interrupted all the time if I didn't pay for premium. Yeah, and that's what a commercial break is there for: is to get up and go to the kitchen and refill your soda and have a bathroom break. Ah, there, I got you there. I stopped drinking soda. Okay. <laughs> is that's that okay. the only thing that you could do <laughs> on a, on a bathroom break. You're okay, God. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, but I still don't like it. We have That's fine. That's you are you are well within your right to not enjoy it. But I beg your, your Night Captain Ryland, your crusade of doing a anything and everything possible field. just to eliminate this one kind of inane thing from your life, I will never understand the measures I you bought, go to. I bought an entire uh, Raspberry Pi to like filter out every ad that comes through my house. Right. And then it died. Yeah, exactly. So you have, you've introduced something in your house that you have to maintain for that that ended up not working. I don't know if it actually died. I think I actually need to just update it. I don't know. I kind of just disconnected it, didn't look at it again. But just let me have this. <laughs> Can't so take it away from you, but I can ridicule for you for it. How is the Inquisition treating you so far, Captain? I ended up paying for Spotify Meg just to get rid of... Well, not really to get rid of ads. I didn't care about the ads. Uh, to get rid of the inability for me to control what song comes...
kind of important to me. This is kind of a way to still connect with them, even though we're, you know, four states away. So we just add stuff in there all the time. But I've never played with Amazon Music, so are you happy with Amazon Music? Do you like it? I really like uh, Google Play Music, which I get for that YouTube Premium thing that I pay for for no ads on YouTube. But uh, right, I feel like YouTube Premium pretty much gives me everything that Spotify would minus the audiobooks. Wow, but Logan, who knows? You're since... starting to sound like a commercial over there. <laughs> <laughs> How do I delete Clayton? <laughs> me, I've tried. It doesn't work. <laughs> uh, but who knows? Since Spotify. Spotify is like YouTube premium or YouTube music's like direct competitors. So since they've added audiobooks, that might be coming soon to you, uh, YouTube music. Especially since YouTube does their own like uh, recap thing. So Sergio says I'm likely switching to Tidal this year. I've never even heard this. Um, uh, I hate the fact that Google killed Google Music. It was so good. Is it Jay Z's thing? Tidal? Thanks, is that honestly get Amazon try either on the website or on the app? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it also depends on how app, how, how good that app is to use. And Google's, I'll be honest, this selection of K-pop and such. So Google's kind of getting on my nerves as well because they are getting rid of Google Podcasts uh, April of next year. And are they really? Yes, they yep. are. Why? I, I don't know. And I'm feverishly looking for a podcast app that does all the things I've become accustomed to. It's so annoying. They keep doing things and then pumping it up, making it really good, and then they just give up on it and delete it. Podcast Republic. Okay, I was trying to remember what you guys, because I think you and Logan use the same thing. Yeah, we both use Podcast Republic. Is that a paid app? No. Okay. Hold on. Does it have the thing that you want, though? Ask them. So the, the things that I want slash need um, are uh, uh, speed controls and... Yep dead air skip i don't know about that i haven't really looked a, a lot of them have speed controls um not as many have the dead air skip i i don't know i can't speak but for the dead air i can look when you when you listen to castle super beast and it's pat and woolly taking five seconds between sentences it will drastically shorten the length of that four hour podcast <laughs> Uh, they do have speed controls, I can say that, but I don't know about that air skip. It might. Yeah, it, it's like, uh, Google Podcast calls it silence trim. Um, so. Amazon Music has podcasts, too. This is how we end up discovering that, uh, we're going to start using more of the Amazon stuff that we already fucking pay for. Yeah, maybe, I mean. It, Other than the fact that tonight I'll put an order in for cat food and it'll be at my front door by tomorrow morning when I wake up. Yeah. And that's what I love about living in the city. It's like, oh, do you, did you uh, forget to order uh, food for your seven cats? Don't worry, baby girl. We right. got you. The pros <laughs> is uh, ordering stuff and getting here quickly. The cons is fireworks for every any and every holiday because Texas and it loves litters to your stuff street. up. And me glaring at fucking dude down the street that moved here from Louisiana that will yeah. not fucking stop parking in the goddamn street. Louisiana. Ass toad soon. Parks the wrong fucking direction too. That, yeah, he does park against traffic, which is a weird decision. I cannot figure out. And I'm gonna be that old grumpy person that even though I'm like. 32. None of you mm -hmm. yep. I had to think. I had to think. Um, also, his kids. He brought kids, which... Uh, uh, I really liked having less number of kids on the street. But, uh... And then they just do not fucking move for traffic. One is on a fucking bike. One's on skates. And a truck was trying to get out. And, and they just... They were cr the actively crossing in front of the truck. We're a very, very small little neighborhood. And they just would not. They just fucking moved right front. I was like, what are you fucking doing? If your kids are too young to understand that they do not need to be traveling in the middle of the fucking road, 
then you need to be out here watching them, but you're not. And quite frankly, your child is too young to be out here by themselves. So it makes me very angry. Sorry, I'm the grumpy old person. None of this makes And the two kids that I did love and their mom, they were great and I loved them. We always chatted up. They left. So Can I figure out how to get to their this house damn or not? Thing. I hate these keeps. They're so confusing. Look on the map and see what the height of it is. It was like on level when I was there, but there was a, like a wall. So I'm going to check on the outside. this level or the inside but there's no way to get to it i've come to like a ugh, i hate these places you just take a little bit of time to look around That's all it is meg says turn around and keep going around it's this isn't it We need to find a way under. All right, Patsy. Good night. Thanks for, uh, night, thanks for coming in. Thanks for that Prime subscription. If nobody else is going to say it, I'm going to say it. Under where? Ooh. <laughs> Don't get your Dorian out. When I was, uh, when I was like in middle school, I went up to my, my sister, like came out of her bedroom or something. And I was just like, Hannah, what are you eating under there? She went, under where? And she like immediately got annoyed at me. <laughs> and I went, ew, Hannah, that's disgusting. And then she got real mad at me. Speaking of things being advertised to us, I saw this really cool thing today. And it was like where you put on the wall, like an underwear dispenser. Like it doesn't, it sounds ridiculous, but like no one wants to fold their underwear. And you want to have access to your underwear all the time. So basically, you know, like how, um, Nexus thinks I hate it. Do you know how, like, uh, there's those, like, plastic, like, th three, uh, God, like Mine. circles, but back of it is flat, so it goes up against a wall. And, like, you put plastic bags in them. Is this making any sense to anybody? The like your, you know, your plastic shopping your bags and stuff like that, and then you put it in there, and at the bottom there's a little hole, and you can pull them out so you can get out what you need. Anyone? Clayton? Logan? Nothing? No. Nope. No clue. Even the one we have downstairs? Yeah, the one in the pantry? Yeah. So it's like that, but smaller, and you just take your underwear and you shove it down in there, and so then at the bottom you just pull a pair of underwear out. Do you? What was mages and all? That's all right. That's I thought bad. it was great! I thought it was great! And then you can easily see what level you're at for underwear. <laughs> Checking your magazine. Because there's sometimes where I'm like, yes! There's sometimes I'm like digging through my box, like I have the like the little bins of underwear. So I'm like digging through it and I'm like, where are all my underwear I like to wear? What? <laughs> yeah, where's, where's like, the ones I, I want to wear? Exactly! We always have like other underwear, right? Especially girls. Like you have different types of underwear that you have to wear at different time periods and uh, attire that you're wearing and things like that. So, like, I specifically my... don't have that. Well, you know what? It's a little Good, Good thing for you. you're a girl. not a girl then. You won't have to worry about that kind Where of stuff. Where did they come from? Hell yeah, uh, brother. We should find out. But like, you know, your standard exactly what everyday no special event underwear. And I'm like, look at when I'm out. And uh, I'm like, well shit, I didn't realize it. Formal phone. But I would know. Extra flossy. My space. I don't fold my clothes. <laughs> no, I fold all I, our clothes. I buy that. Yeah. I, I he's telling the truth. They go directly from the dryer into the laundry basket and then get wait to wait to won't be worn, right? You remember Alan from Lots? Oh, I love Alan. I wonder how he's doing. Uh, he's probably getting up there in years. Um, this dude was the guy that worked on our mailing machine. He wore the same thing 
every single day. He's the closest thing I could think to uh, a cartoon character who has a design and you never see them in anything else. And I was like, how many pairs of these clothes do you have? He's like, it's all my closet is. I have one side of my closet that is just black slacks. I have one side of my closet that is just white button downs. And I wash all of my pants at the same time. And I can bleach all of my shirts because they're just white uh, linens. Um, and he was just like, and they are all cut. They're, they're all the same brand. They're all the same size. I, I was just like, you know, I credit to you. You've got it figured out. He never has to pick anything. He never has to figure out what he feels like wearing. He just has to stay in the same shape and everything fits. Very nice man. Hairiest man I've ever met. Oh, yeah. Robin Williams. Life. Great hair on this one. He probably has more hair than Robin Williams had. I mean. That's just saying. He had long sleeves that he wore because, because his arms were so hairy. And you could see the hair <laughs> from the cuff of his shirt sometimes. Oh, yeah. His, his top You were like, Alan, you're showing. Sure like. Yeah, yeah. And we went to his house one time because he uh, had a place at the beach. And so, i tell you. Finally got to see him in, a, in swimming trunks. Yup. That hairy man. He's like, damn. And this was a time when I was very young and I was very anti, like, body hair, like, chest hair and all all of it. I was like, nah, man. And I don't know, I like a guy with all smooth. Well, and if I'm you've like, changed your opinion oh. on that, I'm sorry to tell you. I just I'm never going to be able to generate that much fur. Oh, I don't want that. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, the light. Like, where you are now. It's, like, perfect. Okay. But him? Oh, my God. I, I was just, like, I've never <laughs> I've never seen a man with so much hair in my life. I could make a fucking rug out of him. Fuck, oh, man. Great guy, though. So sweet. And knows the Hassler M9000 in, inside and out. Be still doing that job. I would be sad to find out if he was. I would hope he's maybe a supervisor or a branch manager or something like that. Or I hope he's retired, hanging out, yeah, surfing yeah. again. Ideally, yeah. I I hope he doesn't have a job because it doesn't need one. I don't know what to do about this mission. What? Which mission? The search for signs of darkspawn. Trouble for darkspawn. Search for more signs of darkspawn. Looks like you just kind of run around, maybe. I'd go in there, but that's in the stinky zone. Yeah, we may have to wait to do it until we go to the war table and enact whatever mm. mission there's going to be there to probably have someone research how to get rid of that shit. Right. I think we're done here then. There's dark spawn in the distance. Oh yeah, but he's in the stink zone. I can't mm -hmm. walk around in there. I'll die. So just his body hair is disgusting. Regardless of gender, I hate my genetics. I'm gonna tell you, I'm really enjoying winter, y'all. Now I've <laughs> got to shave my legs every three days. I agree with Meg. I'm completely indifferent to body hair on either gender. Eh, I don't. I don't like it. Like I'm not turned on by it, but I don't so much mind. Except for underarm hair. That's a... I don't like that at all. I feel like Clayton and I have to have a discussion because I've stopped shaving my armpits every day. <laughs> because... I mean, as long as it's not like... Unkempt. Yeah, exactly. I'm not French gone full on. Right. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know I, I'm completely indifferent to body hair on... on my preference for my partner is whatever makes them most comfortable because I don't right. I don't care whatever they want. That's, that's how I am with everything but underarm hair. It's the only one I'm like, I that's unsettling to me. I'm not trying to be chauvinistic or or controlling or anything, but I mean that's your preference. Ca cards on the table, I don't like looking at that. Frankly, I don't like seeing it on me, but it's, it's a bit too much of a chore to deal with. We'll get him back. We're backing the winner. Oh, I can fix that. 
Let's go uh -huh. get your armpits waxed. Uh huh. Get some the, shower uh, there. Get some uh, electrolysis and shock the follicles. Get some shower Nair there, sucks. burn it out. No. I, I will never ever do Nair again. They're looking at assault options. I tried that in high school. Thanks for coming. You did well, Varric. The Inquisitor is just who we need. Hi. Oh, I'm right here great. listening in. Murderous wardens, archdemon attacks, plenty of blood mages and crazy templars. Just like home. I know how much you hated leaving Kirkwall. This is the ass end of Thetas. You know they eat snails here? Still, I, I think I, uh, I need to finish this out. If it weren't for me and Bartrand, none of this would have happened. So much for changing our lives. Is the person who voices Varric the same person who voices Garrus? You can't always control how. I'll Google. I tracked the wardens to Adamant Fortress Inquisitor. Your specialists have my full report. Okay. Um. Makes sense that she doesn't believe on. so, but she could see why I'm asking because they sounded very Garrus like. So the voice actor of Varric is Garrus, Brian Bloom. I will. Who? What's the name? Brian no Bloom. Uh, with luck, they'll know which end to grip a sword by. I want to double check this before I say this out loud. <coughs> yeah. Mass Effect Garrus voice actor Brandon Keener. Mm. Which I've actually seen him in other stuff. I've never seen Brian Bloom in anything. That, I guess that's that, that one dialogue sounded very Garrus-ish. What did you say? Garrus-esque? Garrus-esque. Garrus yes, that. Uh, forward scouts is decent, says Mike. Uh, with access to a forward training camp, the Inquisition scouts can retrieve training to cover a wider area and identify items of interest to the Inquisitor. Reveal additional landmarks and points of interest on the maps of every area. All right. So let's... Any news on rifts beyond reach of the Inquisition? Yes. And it is not good. Go um, on. That's it. It's not good. Okay. Here lies the abyss, which is the next part of the current storyline we're following. And then I don't know what this is. Wicked Eye and Wicked Hearts. It's the main storyline quest if you want to go read it in your journal. I, I think they're both main storyline. I, I Yes, they are. Okay. Wicked eyes and wicked hearts. The fate of the uh, the fate of Empress Selene and in turn all of Orle has been threatened. The Inquisition must intervene. Oh, okay. So this is that somebody's threatening the life of the Empress. I remember that. But I'm more interested in what's going on here. <laughs> Speak with the advisors at the war table in Skyhold. And I've, I've got enough power to do both of those, so I'm not going to be locked out of one if I don't do it. And I'm pretty sure this is not a one or the other situation. Definitely not. Uh, Meg says I would do the Empress before the Grey Wardens. I wonder if that means we're going to get something to make help make it easier when All we get right. to the Empress. I'm going to follow Meg's advice. I'm going to do what she said. But I care about this way more than I care about the Empress. Because we're attached to the Grey Wardens. Uh, the look at each one, level please. Let's see the level. If I push A, it's not going to buy it, right? Recommends level 12 to 15. Well, that's what I am, I think. I'm level 12. This is level 12 to 15. Okay, so they're both the same.
Uh, so what is, what is your recommendation? I need to remember to do my 2023. Okay, both are major plot points. Because I want that badge. I want that 2023 badge. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about? I see what you're saying. Empress is still my recommendation, but you don't have to do it tonight. Oh, I wasn't going to finish this tonight. I was just going to unlock the area. I wouldn't do them at all. Okay. Because probably we only have like 15 minutes left. Unlocking the area teleports you to them. Never do a story quest to unlock an area. What? Why? Why? So if you were to go unlock that, you're going to go into a cutscene and it's going to be a whole thing. You're going to be doing that. Oh, uh, I see. So I should wait till next week to do either one of these. But Meg Correct. recommends Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts. Correct. Oh, 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 I see. Sergio is saying I should do everything that I have now. Get better gear, explore the things. Okay. We do have a lot of stuff still. Yeah, I have a bunch of areas that I haven't even opened yet. Like this over here. Crossing the sulfur pits. Oh, wait. We have completed uh, the initial estimates on construction an elevated bridge over the toxic hey, sulfur pits. Hey, there you go. Okay. A few words uh, to commite. Com oh, comment of Val Fr Firman. We can have a bridge built, or on your order, we can build a path. Our soldiers will personally see to his construction, but that might hurt our soldiers. I say we do this. Sure. Doesn't matter. Do all the war map stuff, get resources, etc., etc. Okay. Let's get that. Let's get that bridge built. Would you like to? F no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so the bridge is built, but I didn't have to go there. Investigate the shards. The shards acquired by the Herald of Andraste are unlike anything I've encountered uh, through ancient in or though ancient in origin, few have been recovered before now. The breach must have disrupted whatever ancient magic was concealing them from view. Um, I have heard of one scroll that mentions one uh, that mentions the shards. It belonged to a circle tower in Markham. However, after the circle after the circles fell, the Sorrel family seized many of its of the valuables as compensation for donations made after their mage's son was taken there. Uh, they intend to sell the scroll along with everything else at private auction. And then a few well placed rumors should in uh, incite. Bidding wars on other items, leaving the scrolls for us. Okay. I would also try your best to get your specialization before the Grey Wardens keep. Okay. That sounds like something I can work on between streams. So let's do that. Um. With thanks, our lady to our lady ambassador, I was able to study the scroll. It reference the reference is vague, but it implies a connect. A connection to a temple, possibly 11. Oh my god. Uh, I followed the lead and believe one such temple stands in an oasis on the western approach. Uh, as to what may lie within, I cannot say. Reports of this place. Oh, that must be the place that was blocked. I couldn't get in. Remember I tried to stab it? Yeah. Uh, reports of this place are cut off or the pages are missing. I have yet to find a reliable... First-hand account. Perhaps our soldiers can provide a better one. They will not venture forth. Investigate Western approach. That's complete. Complete connection. Okay. What is this? Oh, Meg says that's somewhere else. Uh, okay. Stop the venatory activity in the West. I need 20 for this one. I need 30 for this one. So I need 50 to unlock both. But, but I mean, I you're going to be doing stuff around the world and you'll get more power. Every that's true, that's rift, true, that's true. you get two power, I think, every time. So That's very true. Okay, stop Venatory activity in the West. Liliana spies have discovered orders from the Venatory high-ranking commanders. A large number of mages are traveling westward to 
ex excavate something of great value to our cause. The Inquisition must find whatever its enemies are searching for. Uh, the region is vast, but Liliana is ready to put her network to use in tracking down Corypheus's minions. Uh, the Venatori are sending some of their best scholars into the wilderness. Let us discover precisely what they are, where they are heading. Uh, the Venatori are camped in a place known as the Hissing Wastes. They're working uh, their slaves to death, digging old buildings from the sand. The Inquisition should step in quickly, because if it doesn't, it's going to bash the Venatori. Uh, I'm going to bash the Venatori's heads in, and you'll you'll need a new scout. Lead scout Her Harding. I will That's going to open up a whole new area. Which I just opened. Uh, so let me look at these other triangle things. Investigate the Exalted Plains. Liberate Empress Dulion. Make contact with the Emerald Graves. I'm looking for the ones that like change the, the world, you know? Like the, the, the bridge one. The Black Emporium. Scout the Storm Coast. Complete. That's the deeper. It's so not, not allowed to touch that one. That's DLC for later. Find the Warden. That's complete. That's complete. Uh, investigate the Frostback Basin. Uh, these are, this is another area. Minimum suggested level 20. Yeah, I'm not uh, going there. Hard. What was that one I just opened that I did, that I just opened without looking? Stop mandatory secrets. Doesn't have a suggested level. It's just an area. All right. Um... Are all of our guys still working on something? Let's check. I do not know. Pursuit of the mountains. Through the mountain. Okay, Liliana is available, and so is Josephine. This is a complete one. A bundle of documents, at least 50 pages, explain... Uh, uh, 50 pages thick explain the traders' agreements the Inquisition has entered into... With the Merchant Princess of Antiva, Josephine has attached a note. Inquisitor, I am more than satisfied with the agreement we reached with the Merchant's print with the Merchant Princes. Uh, here is a duplicate of, uh, if you wish to review it, I would put it, I would put aside three days and uh, two dozen candles. What does that mean? Okay, um, and then this one is done. Nightingale, we understand the threat. Our friends, our friend the Marquis, uh, met with dozen a dozen nobles in the past week. Bribes in the form of gifts changed hands. Most of them, a uh, bus of Justina V. We appropriated one of one and discovered it was hollow and stuffed with red lyrium. Yeesh. Okay, so how long does this one have? So that's 30 minutes. We're not finishing that. It'll take a lot longer. Oh, she's saying it will take three days and a dozen candles to review the document. Gotcha. Continue investigation. Which one was the one that we said we were waiting for Liliana to do? I don't remember. It was one that took like 15 minutes, so I would suggest doing that one next week's stream because it would be a waste. Yeah, I'm going to look for one that... A long one. Long boy. I wish it wouldn't. It's this one. I wish it wouldn't leave completed ones on the table. This is materials. Proving morale. An hour. Our work continues in the approach. It's difficult. Uh, it's a difficult post, but our soldiers are determined to represent the Inquisition as best they can. Moral, uh, moral flags at times. Morale flags at times. But we manage. Night Captain Ryland. Uh, perhaps a, a distraction would help. We can see about sending books. They could set up a small library. Or... The fuck? The, the terrain and the approach is unkind. Our soldiers would be more comfortable fitted with proper shoes. 
Max says you should get the post water. There's a quest on the war table for that. Post water? This one must be in Raldon because I don't know what that one is. Gather coin. Sue the mountains. Post water. Post water. Nope. Left. Missing Desert. Lightways. Search a source of water for outposts. Secure oh, okay. a sort. The Griffin Wing outpost has some access to water, but not enough to sustain the numbers of people uh, for a significant amount of time. The situation is not desperate, but if we are to maintain a presence in the western approach, the outpost will require access to fresh water. We should locate a reliable source as soon as possible. Uh, the outpost will not last without water. A few scouts could search for water for a water source, or the outpost must have access to fresh water. A few scouts could search the western approach for a reliable, so they're both the same. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I guess pick one, whichever one you want. At your service. Resources, 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 morale. This one was for like shoes. Yeah, I'd for give him shoes. Fuck yeah, books. Sh sh yeah, fuck reading. Inquisitor. Sorry, that that's anyway. what you need more, not books. All right. We got our war table set pretty good. I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to. I'm doing a. I'm doing a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't really have time for video games for the next like few weeks. So I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm probably gonna have to get with Meg at least to do resource management. Mm -hmm. but what else would you that, be doing other than that, though? I would go around to the, the places and finish missions and gather shards and do work alchems and just. Non non story important missions and stuff. Get no. get levels up, get power, eh, close not rifts. Necessary at the moment. Uh, so I'll probably just get with Meg and try to do resource management. Although I've gotten good at doing the armor and weapons myself. I just I wrote I uh I just ask her about what I should do for accessories, because she just knows. Right. What's worth it and what's, uh, what's yeah. not. Yeah. So I'll, I'll try to remember to get with Meg about that, but um, I don't know if I'll have time to actually play the other stuff. Don't worry about it. All right. Well, I think that is a pretty solid stream. What do you think? Made some progress, opened up some new areas, and adventured. Yeah. Got to hang out with Hawk for a little bit. Yeah. Got to see Alistair. Yeah, he was there. <laughs> Jesus. Of Damn. all the of all of the uh companions we've had throughout all the games, Alistair sure was one of them. Okay. All right. <laughs> On that note, that's going to do it for us tonight. So thank you very much to everyone for hanging out. If you like what you see, the follow is free. You can go that one step further and hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much to Sergio and Patsy for using their Twitch subscriptions on us tonight. We appreciate it. If you want to know more about what we're going to be playing during the week, make sure you follow us on Twitter, threads, and join our Discord. We post the schedule on Monday evenings for what we play during the rest of the week. And you can go to our website, carpetboredom.com, to get links to that information, as well as check out our two podcasts, the Carpet Boredom Podcast, and Help Me Understand, which is Clayton and Brandon talking about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. No stream tomorrow or on Monday, but we will be back on Tuesday. So in the meantime, everyone have a wonderful and safe Happy New Year, and we will see you in 2024. Heck yeah, dude. Good night, everybody. Good night.